I'll just get this going. There, ready. We're all set. Now, to begin, tell me, what do you see? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Try this. Focus on your vision. Did you feel it too? Take your stuff. We're getting out of here. We've got a problem. Call them back. It's the Prince. We must go quickly. Come on. Damn it. Hurry up. Calm down. Maybe it has nothing to do with the party. You know full well I was in charge of it. If anything goes wrong, it's my head on the chopping block. Fuck! Damn it! It took Hazel months to convince the Hartford Chantry to ally themselves with us. So they finally accept, and then bam, a code red. There's never been a code red in Boston, damn it! This has gotta be bad, M.M. It's not like you had anything to do with it. I'm sure- You don't get it. I was in charge of organizing the party. But security is Jara's problem, Yeah, normally. except Jara is a member of the Primogen. I'm not. But you're a harpy. The prince will cover you. You know she's always looking for an excuse to take him down a notch. We'll see. What do we do next? When everyone's safe, we move on to phase two. We clean house. What do you mean by we clean house? Getting rid of our archives, our documents, anything that might betray our network and relationships. Did you say this is the first Code Red in Boston? Ever since the fall of London, protocol is no longer a laughing matter. Whatever. They've been harping on that for four years now. They took away our internet access, our smartphones. It's called risk mitigation, that's all. A code red is an alarm signal that's sent to everyone to say, watch out, we're all in danger. And everyone runs to shelter at the nearest safe house. For us, it's with the prince. It could have been worse. I'd have preferred worse. 
You're not even listening to me. What comes after phase two? Just pray that it never comes to that. Come on, tell me. We run, we leave everything behind, and we go into hiding as far from here as we can. There's no way I'm leaving Boston. Everything I have is right here in the city. It took me years to build my clubs. I've worked too hard to give it up now. You won't have a choice. I know you hate coming here. Are you gonna be all right? What do you think? I know how to behave, Jay. Yeah, I know. Just keep your cool and it'll be fine. Ah, my little darlings. You're here at last. The fear that something horrible had happened to you terrified me. No call for theatrics, April. The prince asked to see you as soon as you arrived, Amen. I wouldn't dilly-dally if I were you. As for you, Journey, someone's triggered a code red. If anything has happened over there, I'll hold you personally responsible. You know, back in the day, nobody could bat an eyelash without you knowing about it. You must know exactly what Jay is being blamed for, don't you? Mm. My dear Mm. I adore you. Really, I do. But darling, please, you're way out of your league here. This alliance with the Hartford Chantry is crucial. The prince is on edge. We can't get through to anyone over there. Mm, what does this have to do with Jay? She was in charge of the whole thing, for goodness sake. Listen, both of you. From now on, I don't want to hear another word out of either of you. The prince is furious. Journey, you're coming with me. I don't see why. And as for you, Hazel wants to see you right now. It's gonna be a long night. Miss Lewis, welcome. Who's she, Galeb? M.M. Lewis. She smiles like a Toreador. Letters etched in bold right upon her teeth. What, what about want? that bearded guy who's swallowing his bile? Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock, then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, he could make the blood in your veins boil. Is court attendance usually this sparse? Under ordinary circumstances, there would be more of us here. Is it because of the Code Red? Could be. We should have all been at that party. But a Code Red is a Code Red. No one can leave. I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? He's second honcho of house security. This promises to be a busy night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. It's by no fault of their own. Do you think you'll be able to ask the prince tonight if you can embrace me? No. Now is no longer the time. And he is your child? 
Mr. Beryl Underwood. Tread lightly. He's a member of the Primogen. They're the check to the Prince's power. The check and balance. They backed Hazel when she rose to power after Quentin King. They'd hoped to control her. What? Things didn't go as planned? I just have a feeling she will surprise them. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters, and we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. But... Nothing can happen to you here. We're in the prince's house. She must be finished by now. Wait for me. This won't take long. It's out of the question, M.M. I won't let her get away with this. All right. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it to you? Don't start with me. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. Leave her out of it. It's too late for that. Don't waste your time covering for her. She's not a kid anymore. I haven't heard from my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on, then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon! What? Oh, come on, Hilda, she needs to grow up. Leave us. I don't need your help. Mem, please, stop calling me that. I was worried about you. You still haven't moved on, have you? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. People are staring. Do you know what this Code Red is all about? You're in the Primogen. You must know something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. Apparently, it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. Who's that? Jason Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the Primogen. As if now were the ideal time. She asked to see me. Do you know why? My best guess is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey, of course. I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah, sure. I've gotta go. Hazel must be upstairs. I'd better hurry. What about Jara? I haven't seen her. Counselor Drory is not here, nor is Dr. Dunham. Mr. Leto's teams are trying to reach them, but... Nobody's answering? No. What a shitty night. Hazel must be pissed. What the hell could she want with me?
Is everything okay, Mom? Penny, for your thought? Nothing, Pumpkin. What were you saying? You saw pictures again? You're not going back to the Institute, are you? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see things that haven't happened yet. And I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. But three years was too long. It seemed like an eternity without you. I missed you too, Mom. I need my sweet little monster. Mom? What's going on? Why does everybody look so upset? I think something serious is happening. I'm worried. I still haven't seen Richard. Ugh, I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? Uh, I was told to wait here because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming, and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie. But don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay, here I go. Laisha. It's been a while. Hey, M.M. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That, or she's a major drama queen. I know that you knew her before, but she's the leader of Boston now. You owe her respect before everyone, and in every circumstance. She is your prince. Are you lecturing me? First Siaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? Maybe you asked for it. Or maybe if you behaved in a manner more appropriate to the circumstances and our setting, then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. See, I could jump down my throat. Was I supposed to let him take his nerves out on me? No, I'm sorry. That's not how things work, Bazori. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear, coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't gonna help us solve it. We're all in danger. When I awoke, I sensed a threat. Everywhere. All around us. I've never felt anything like it. Please, explain. It was as if we were all going to disappear. Into chaos. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. Good evening, ladies, sir. The prince shall see you now.
Hazel. Dalson. Come in, M.M. I wanted to have a word with you. What can I do for you? I'm glad you're here. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Tell me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the code red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Don't you worry about that for now. We have more urgent matters to attend to. We bring Journey to me. What do you want with her? I have a few questions I need to ask her. If mistakes were made, I need to know what happened. I'm sure that your friend will have a lot to tell me. Yes, my prince. I'll be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I have something to offer you. I'm listening. It's about the Primogen Council. You know everyone who's in it. Beryl, Richard, Hilda. Their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now, they've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. The Camarilla has faced many challenges in the past few years. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate. But for that, I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I... uh... what? You've always taken care of your community, M.M. Without ever asking for anything in return. It might be time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Hilda won't let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seated next to her child? She'll feel humiliated. I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. I don't care. What I'm offering is much bigger than all that. What do you think? You know what I think of the court. I'm not comfortable there. You'll get used to it quickly. I'm not sure I want to. It's not a question. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it. But we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay. I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me Journey. I will. I have the utmost confidence in you, M.M. Do not fail me. You can count on me. What the hell is going on? M.M., I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, Syl. I'd like some refreshment, please. Of course, I'll get you a glass. I was thinking more like a vessel. Oh, serve yourself. But try not to damage them, okay? They're all I've got left in stock. I get it, I'll be careful. I'm right here if you need anything else. from anyone do you think that now's not the time to be thinking about that we're not the only ones freaking out look around exactly we've got to keep our wits about us got it yeah
won't take long. Yes. All right, Jay. Where are you hiding? I know that perfume. Jay. I... Shit. Where did you go, Jay? Hey, Abby. Hey, M.M. It's been a while. Can I help you? I've got to talk to Jay. You haven't seen her, have you? No. You should ask April. It's a good idea. Thanks for the advice. I've got stuff to do. See you later. I never liked this stuff before. Why would I want it in the blood I drink now? Underwood and Fang. Bazaar's ears must be burning. Hey, Fang. Good evening, Miss Lewis. Call me a mem, please. Did you come with Galeb? Yes, but he's so very busy. You didn't happen to see Journey, did you? I'm sorry. I don't know everyone's names yet. Keltum and Lazarus. Mm, I smell gossip. This can't be happening. I swear, she was standing there, playing me for a sucker, pretending she just happened to be in the archives. And what did you say to her? I played dumb. I said, as you like, Miss Abigail Naomi. And I left. What did she take? A page from a file about an old party that she tore out. But Everything's why gonna be would she need that? Why now? Uh, down. I wonder. I hope you didn't forget anything, Jay.
Zikala saw. Jay always got along well with her sire. Lucky bitch. Jay was looking for a file that Jara took from the archives. Interesting. Her last message to Abigail. The file. I wonder where they put it. That could be of interest to me. I'm not supposed to be here. These books are gorgeous. Lazarus must have paid a fortune for them. Boston, Boston, Boston. Lazarus knows all of the city secrets. This page was torn out. Oh, you again. What do you want? April. Have you seen Jay anywhere? You can't let her out of your sight for two seconds. The prince sent me to get her. I can't discuss that with you. Not that I think in a million years this is what happened, but what if Jay messed up somehow? What would happen to her? Depends on the mistake and how bad the consequences were. At best, the prince will be mad. At worst? Destruction? Yeah, there's a good chance of that. Fine, I won't insist. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah, sure. What attitude? It's a good thing I was careful earlier. What a nightmare. Bosley's looking for answers. If Zeus had chosen flower to reign over all others, Rose would be queen.
elevator to get here. Hazel's gonna want answers. Jay, what were you doing in the archives? about a party from a few years ago. It's the one Journey asked Abigail to look at. Here's the connection between Journey's email and the page that was torn out at Abigail's. Journey asked Abigail to meet her in an alcove at the bar. Abigail, we've got to talk. Oh, great. My shadow. Hmm. I wish I was outside instead of being cooped up in here. So, what exactly did Hazel want with you? She asked me to go and fetch Journey. Ah. So, you think this is gonna get ugly, too? How is Hazel? She asked a lot of questions. She was a little paranoid. She's losing her grip. Be careful. Why are you telling me this? This is the first time you've ever been involved in a court intrigue. Up until this instant, I've handled things for you. And that was fine by me. If the prince is under pressure, choose your words carefully. I hate the court. Oh, I've got to go. I've got stuff to do. Be careful. The door is locked. Armani, now's 
not the time for this. I... I'm sorry about before. I'm just a little edgy tonight. I know. This isn't the first time we've gotten in a fight over nothing. Your child, Imani... She was there. Still no news? No. Radio silence. And Hazel refuses to talk to me. I spent months kowtowing to those Hartford assholes for this agreement. If she has the info, now's not the time to hold it back. These Hartford guys... How well do you know them? Well enough. I won't let things end like that. You told me you knew the Hartford Warlocks well. Yeah, some of them. I was in touch with their representative, Deneb. He was supposed to replace me on the council. You're leaving us? Uh, not really. It's part of the agreement with the Chantry. Deneb and I were supposed to switch places. Why was Hazel doing business with them? She had plans for the blood market in the region. We were meant to be in charge of supplying high-quality blood. They were supposed to take care of stabilizing it, or try at least. That's nuts. Has anyone ever tried it before? Never. That's why I'm worried. I don't give a shit about Hartford, but this project is really important. I understand. I'm looking for Journey. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. I assume you've already tried her office? Well, I'll leave you to it. I've got to find Jay. If I see Journey, I'll tell her you're looking for her. Can I help you? I told you I was looking for Jay earlier. And? And? I found the note she left you. I wonder what April would say if I showed it to her. You went through my stuff? Is that all you're worried about? Uh, no. It wasn't personal. Journey was in a panic. She asked me for the pass to get into Jara's apartment. Did she say why? Only that she was looking for evidence. I didn't really get it. Let's keep this between us, alright? April's got other fish to fry. I'll see about that. I'm going to find her. Jara's apartment. That's on the Primogen floor. What was Jay looking for up there? Yes? I hope you'll find Journey. She's gotta be around here somewhere. No fucking way. Shit. So this what? is where you've been Oh, hiding. Jesus, it's you. You scared the shit out of me. How did you find me? You're really bad at covering your tracks. Are you alone? What the hell is going on? Shit, ma'am. It's a fucking nightmare. The code red is definitely because of the party. April told me Hazel was gunning for me. She thinks I'm responsible for this shit show. So you're hiding in Drory's room? I'm looking for evidence. I saw that Jara had the file on the party. It's got all the contracts and stuff in it that will prove I did my job right. But I can't find them. It was my only shot to defend myself against her. Hey, slow down. It's gonna be all right. 
They don't have anything on you, do they? No, of course not. I did everything right, ma'am. I was the one who rented the place. Same as always. Rooftop, away from prying eyes. I met with Richard to organize the vessels. I arranged for limos to be sent for the Hartford Chantry. I went through the same secure limo agency as usual. They're ours, so there's no risk. What the hell could have gone wrong? I don't know. But there's no time to think about it. Hazel wants to see you. I... And she asked you? It's gonna be fine, Jay. I'm sure you can explain everything. I'm scared, ma'am. Don't worry about anything. I'm here. I'll follow you. Laisha, it's good to see you. Be good, sweetie. How was your reunion with Halsey? Thank you, Hazel. Your gift was wonderful. You shouldn't have troubled. You're welcome. We should never have kept you apart for this long. Good evening, Delson. Good evening, Laisha. How are you feeling? I feel great. Better and better since I got my little sugar fangs back. Wonderful. I haven't seen Richard yet. Does he know I've been released from the Institute? No, I'm the Prince. It was my decision. He is your psychiatrist, but you don't need his permission for everything. He wasn't at the party, was he? I'm searching for everyone who's still missing. Don't worry about him. Thank you. Laisha, I know I can be frank with you. For four years, I have been working to heal the city's wounds. You've already helped me avoid traps in the past. You're not like the other children of Malkav. Quentin King knew that. The Mad King. I remember, yeah. I had you released from the Institute because your premonitions are the most detailed, the most accurate. I wanted them to help me understand the Chantry's hand more clearly before we signed our agreement with them. But this alert changes everything. I need to understand what's just happened. Did you sense anything, possibly about what happened tonight? I saw images, but they had nothing to do with this party. It didn't make any sense. It was a long, white hallway. It's a little early for sure, but it's a good start. I'm sorry. I can't be of more help. Don't be sorry. There's something else you can do for me. Your discretion can still be of use to me. I need to be sure that none of the members of my council are going to take advantage of the situation. You don't trust them? You can never be too careful. You and Delson are the only two people I trust entirely. The members of the council have their council lodgings here. It gives them the impression that they have power, and it means I can keep an eye on them. I'm going to give you the key. Go and see if you find anything that could make me doubt their loyalty. Anything that might make me think there's something in the works. Uh, all right. Miss Drury burned the midnight oil to make sure this event was secret. I imagine there might be some evidence in the information she gathered. I need it. 
All right, consider it done. You've never disappointed me, Laisha. Please don't start today. Until then, I hope to have found more information. But above all, don't share what we've discussed with anyone. I don't need more gossip. Can I take Halsey with me? Of course. All right then. I'll be right back. So oh, this is where you've been hiding. What? Oh, Jesus, it's you. You scared the shit out of me. How did you find me? You're really bad at covering your tracks. Are you alone? What the hell is going on? Shit, ma'am. It's a fucking nightmare. Mom, I'm going to Ritzwitz to see if he has my teddy. Okay. Come and find me when you're done. I hope Journey hasn't come looking for the same thing as me. <sighs> this thing's old. Does she still use it? A log with a list of everything that was checked for the party. Invoices, reservations, rentals. All from our network. Huh, it's Journeys. That's what she was looking for. This is what Hazel asked me to bring her.
Nobody here. I'm going to be able to take a look around Dijon's. The Salem Gazette. Just like New Orleans. This is definitely Dijon's place. He must have done a warlock ritual. It's from an animal, and it's still fresh. Tarot cards, how fun. The Emperor, the Chariot, Temperance, easy. Dijon is thinking about taking a trip. If I can do anything to help, let me know. Hazel told me to keep a low profile here. This area is reserved for the prince and her primogen. Shit! Hilda's in her office. She's going to see me. I shouldn't get too close. She might be able to sense me.
Leisha. Hmm. Restricted access means nothing to you, I see. Make yourself at home. Don't mind me. How am I not surprised? What doesn't surprise you? For you to turn up at a time like this. The prince had me released. Of course, she needs you. <laughs> I'm guessing she sent you to spy on the council. What do you mean? Tell me, do you remember the last time she pulled you out of your musty hole? It's just that I... You don't remember, do you? You're still having those little memory issues, it seems. And I suppose Halsey's here, too. Of course she is. <laughs> the more the merrier. Don't start with me, Beryl. Otherwise... Why don't you go out and play in the sun? And let me get back to work. Work? With everything that's going on? Hazel will appreciate your dedication. Get out! Please! <sighs> That's all I'm going to be able to find out about him. Hazel's gonna be disappointed. A bird. Dead. Well, well. What have we here? He didn't finish his letter. But that'll be enough for Hazel to make up her mind about him. just fine on your own. If you only knew everything I've done for you. Ma'am. Hilda's more concerned with the man than she is with Hazel. I hope she'll be happy to hear that. Richard's apartment. <laughs> he didn't change a thing, as usual. guilt. Richard often asked me. Teddy? 
Nothing. Ugh. It's true that he always saves everything on old media. He must be hiding somewhere else. Mr. Teddy! Maybe I'll find a way to read it. Only Richard would still use that. Richard must have had a breakthrough, if Hazel's interested in it. So, did you find your teddy? No, not yet. I'm not sure he's here. What about you? Did you finish your job for the prince? Yes, I found something that might be of interest to Hazel. Does that mean we're going back to see the prince then? Let's go, Sugar Fangs. Laisha. I'm all ears. Everything went all right. I knew I could count on you. Was Halsey a good girl? Yes, as usual. Good. Were you able to find anything interesting in Ms. Drury's apartments? Yes. There was intel she had gathered on the guests, including those from the Hartford Chantry. Hmm. Anything about their regent, Deneb Osborne? Yes, he seems to be obsessed with memory magic. Interesting. I gave everything to Delson. Thank you. I'll take a look at it later. Were you able to see or hear anything interesting? Hilda was in her room. She was acting strangely. What do you mean? She was whispering things, talking to a picture of a mem. Touching, but that's of no importance. At Dijon's, I found a letter addressed to the Salem Chantry. Did he betray me for the Warlocks? I don't know. It just said that he's participating in your project. But that he would have preferred an agreement with Salem. Oh, I understand his recent illusions a little better now. I'm going to need to have a word with him. Go on. I found Journey in Jara's office. How did she get in there? I don't know. But Emem joined her. It's like there's no security here. But do go on. I want to know everything. What did you see? They talked, and Emem told her that you wanted to see her. She told her she had to bring her back. Journey agreed. That's it. Was there anything else? Journey was going through Jara's desk. She was looking for a file. A record with proof of the precautions she'd taken in organizing this party. Did she find any? She didn't find it. But I did. That's perfect. More than I expected. Give it to Delson on your way out. I'll take care of it. That's all I was able to find. I knew I could count on you. Thank you, Laisha. Richard still wasn't there. Were you able to find out anything else? Yes. One of my servants just came back from his bar, the Red Salon, as that's where he does his research. I had hoped to find him there. But she confirmed that Dr. Dunham had gone to the party early with a few of his vessels. I'm sorry, Laisha. No. If he had been destroyed, I would have felt it. I have to go find him. You're the most discreet of all of us, it's true. But we have no idea what might have happened there. It could be dangerous. I won't be alone. Halsey will be with me. Of course. And one last thing. 
Dr. Dunham wasn't the only one there. There was also Miley, my child. Bring her back to me. Yes, of course. We'll leave right away. I wouldn't expect anything less of you. Thank you, Laisha. M.M., come here. Thanks, M.M. You've brought me Journey. I knew I could count on you. Jay is waiting in the antechamber. She's nervous. Tell Delson to go easy on her. We'll see about that. Did you need me for anything else? Not right now, but I will soon. I have one more favor to ask of you. All right. I'll be waiting in the next room. My prince. Delson. Zori. It seems that the Camarilla is in danger. I am at your disposal. Your sense of duty is a credit to you, Caleb. You haven't lost your touch, I hope. The Code Red is linked to the Unification Party with the Chantry. No one there is answering anymore. How many of us were there? Probably a good twenty, give or take. Dr. Dunham and our top spy, Jara Drury, were already there. Hmm, we might have lost two members of the Primogen. What about Hartford? Have you heard from them? If those dogs had anything to do with what happened, I'll cut their throats myself. Do you think they might be involved? I don't know. It's too early to draw any conclusions. Where do you want to start? Can I... can I count on you? You have no reason to doubt me. One by one, the Anseli heed the beckoning and go east. You're the eldest in the city now. Don't do this to me. Not now. I would be very grateful to you. And Fang. How may I be of service? Go and see Caius. With Jaragon. He's in charge of security. He may have learned something. You can count on me. You have my absolute confidence, Caleb.
Mr. Underwood, I'm sorry, but my instructions are clear. You little shit. I'm just following orders. You have no idea what's at stake. My most honored sire, you're wasting your time here. I'd forgotten about your abject fawning. I call it respect. It appears that it's something that sewer rats know nothing about. Apparently, Caius feels he's entitled to refuse to see a member of the Primogen. I won't forget it. This is the kind of thing you delegate to a retainer under normal circumstances. What matter is so urgent that you've come to see Caius yourself? If you don't mind, I choose not to entrust this task to anyone else. Tell me, you haven't introduced me to your charming protege yet. Zhu Feng. <laughs> yes, Zhu Feng. A name that's as delectable as her blood, I'm sure. Ah, you're planning to introduce her to the very select club of Galeb Bazori's progeny, aren't you? I hope that the Prince will allow me to, shortly. I hope so for your sake. Who knows? Uh, Dear Hazel is so unpredictable. At any rate, it would be an honor for me to welcome and guide her. You will speak of nothing with her at all. Is that an order? A word of advice. Oh, pardon me. I fell out of the habit of receiving advice from you so long ago. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must end this ever so pleasant conversation. <laughs> Need to find a way to avoid losing too much money. This is a handwritten list. These names sound familiar. Mr. Bazori, can I help you? I need to see Caius. He doesn't want anyone to bother him. Prince's orders. I see. He's holed up in the server room. You'll need a pass to get in. There's one on his desk. Thank you. Mr. Bazori, I need to focus. Looks like the key to Nothing a safe. The police scanners. They're always one step behind. Keep it up. Blood tests from the Red Salon. Luckily, it looks like everything is in order here. If only Miss Drury were here.
Kais's office. The key card must be in there. Are you supposed to be here? Ross didn't make his report. These servers hold all of our secrets. I understand why they're so well protected. I'm working on something important. A list of ingredients and side effects. I imagine she sent you. Finally, some good news on this shitty night. What's the situation? Not good. Not good at all. The prince needs more than that. I hope you've got it. You want details. Tell me what happened. Everything was going as planned until 11.10 p.m. The prince's child, Miss Sellers, contacted me. The Hartford Warlocks had just arrived. That's the last time we heard from any of them. Less than 20 minutes later, we received the code red, just as we were leaving to join them. Who sounded the alert? A man named Wu. Ever heard of him? A retainer, one of Jason Moore's bodyguards. Moore? The asset manager? What was he doing at the unification party? He was supposed to answer technical questions about the financial viability of the agreement. Moore is good at hiding our kind trafficking. He's one of them, after all. And you're the one who received the Code Red, personally. It arrived directly, here. It's authentic. I verified it. Anything that could be of interest to the Prince? I'm working on it. Jara Drury is the expert, not me. If only she was here. Any movement with the Anarchs? As usual, they're keeping their distance. You know it's always a pain in the ass to locate them. Any word from Hartford? Do you think it's them? It would be ill-fated. I knew we should never have trusted those damn warlocks. Any sign of Jara? Nothing at all. And that's not good. According to the protocol, she should have been there early. If they got hit, she would have been first in line. There's one thing we haven't considered. The Crimson Oaks. They were behind the Quincy Market attack, weren't they? I don't have any proof. We just caught a thin blood who wanted to trap the Prince, and who told us about them. Apparently they're new in town, but Miss Drury thinks he's giving us the runaround. Did you look into it? I tried, but I didn't have the resources to discover anything else. Leave no stone unturned. Hello. You. It's about damn time. Shit. What? You're... Hello? 
Damn it! I lost them. Who was it? Wu. Shit. Now it's just ringing. What did he say? The party was indeed attacked. Apparently it was a real bloodbath. He and James had just enough time to get more out. They're stopping by his place to pick up some sensitive documents. And then what? Are they coming here? I don't know. We got cut off. Call him back. I'll inform Hazel. This is a critical moment for us. I have summoned you here tonight to organize our reaction to an imminent threat. What threat exactly? We've got no reason yet to Call think- Call her off again and I'll slit your throat. Oh, excuse me. Careful, Hazel. How dare you speak to me like that? Enough. You... I command you to be silent and listen to me. Oh, so that's how it is. That's enough, Beryl. Yes, it's come to this. You would do well to listen to your sire. We have just been attacked. This is not a time for childish displays of discontent. Galeb, the Code Red was sent by Wu. Go to Moors and find out what's going on. As you wish. And bring Moore back to me. He was supposed to be at the party. I don't understand why he's the only one who was able to call us. I would like to speak to him very much. Consider it done. I trust you. He might be involved in this. So gather any documents you can find there that could tie us to him. Very well. Delson, see if you can get Caius to find us a new middleman in the cane business to manage our interests. I don't want to take any chances. Then I want you to talk to everyone. Somebody must have seen or heard something. Dajon, make sure all our defenses are in place. Yes, Hazel. M.M., you will go to the old Jefferson Library. What's there? That's where the Hartford Chantry calls home here. I gave them the building so they could have a base in Boston. I demand to take her place. Request denied. What game are you playing, Hazel? It's a suicide mission. It's all right. I got this. I'm not made of sugar. She's not ready for this kind of mission. I should go with her, at the very least. No, you will remain here. Emem goes alone. Why don't you send Dajan instead? Enough, Hilda. Dajan has work to do elsewhere, and I don't need to explain myself. Hazel, if anything happens to her, I'll- Nothing, Hilda. You'll do nothing. It's high time you learned to trust her. Which one of us are you planning to send to the party? She's already left. What? Who? I sent Laisha. Are you serious? A few hours ago, she was snoozing behind locked doors in a psych ward. You're playing a dangerous game, Hazel. Without us, you would never have come into power. You've chosen the worst possible moment to turn your back on us. On the contrary, I find this moment very appropriate. I am the Prince of Boston, and you are the Primogen. I owe you nothing. Delson, escort them out. The session is adjourned. You all have your instructions.
notification, huh? The lab's gonna take care of you. <laughs> You're all gonna pay for what you've done. Nothing you'll remember. No! Don't leave. Prison? What am I doing here? I have to get out of here. I won't stay here that long. Ugh, it's stuck. I'm so hungry. What happened to you, Josh? What is this place? Everything is a blur. Oh, shit! Ugh, it's gross, but it'll have to do for now. Now what? The library. I've been here before. Okay. 
So either they're all dead, or they forgot about the welcoming committee. It's me. I don't get it. Is this a memory? I've got to find a way to go further. What was I looking for again? Where did they disappear to? Ugh. What am I doing here? Change shoes. Hello? Anybody here? Hazel and her damn plans. Hazel, she wanted me to talk to the Warlocks. Osborne is here. I have to find him. What's that doing here? You shouldn't have come here. What the hell? <gasps> the Warlocks attacked me. They're the ones who locked me up here. But why? I really gotta get out of here. Osborne's gonna have some explaining to do. What's that doing here?
Come on, Amem. You can do it, girl. It's strangely normal, almost cozy. Quite the program. My oh my. That's quite a crowd. entry is from 2016. I wonder how many vessels have been caught since then. Let's see what that did.
Are you sure? Yes. Oh. Look at me. Uh. <sighs> yes. Oh, yes. Uh. Oh, my God. Oh. Uh. 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 Yes. Uh. Yes. I've been dreaming about this moment for six years. I never experienced anything so powerful. Ah, oh, the taste of your blood on my tongue. Your hands, your teeth. It was, I could never forget it. That's impressive. This tower is incredible. It's like it's from another time. I've never seen anything like it. Three circles. Just like the platform. I should be able to do something with that. don't like this place. What's that doing here?
Oh my god. It's monstrous. What happened here? The base is broken. Like someone ripped it off. It took a colossal amount of strength to break it. Where's King? We already told you which. He's not here. But I came here to see him. I don't have time to waste. I'm leaving. Oh, oh, oh no, you're not. It's not that easy. You can't just walk away, Morgana. I've told you to stop calling me that. Okay, that's enough. I'm leaving. Grab her! What the hell are you doing? Let go! Oh, the bad fairy has got some fight in her. Get your hands off me, you psychos! Shut up, slut. We've seen you slithering around the king, Morgana. Whore! Let go of me! Come on! What are you waiting for? Make her drink! For the king! No! Hold that back! No! It's not that! Stop! Stop! I remember it now. My screams, their voices in my head. It went on for three whole nights. Why put me through that again? What the hell is your problem? I feel like my head is gonna explode. I wonder who did that.
something moved. Again. worked. Oh, come on. There's more. That's the last one. Is that the exit? Get the neb. She got out. What? How on earth could no she? No time for that. Go get him. Out. I'm out. Oh, who cares about the neb? Do you think Iverson gave a shit when she offed all our guys? Huh? 
Wait, Iverson, are you talking about the party? It, it wasn't us. And now she's awake. Great. What do you mean it wasn't you? Don't fall for her act. She came here to destroy us. Don't forget it. What are they talking about? I'm not here to... Uh, we thought you were behind the attack. We... Just can it. You can stop the little dance routine already. It's not gonna work on us. So spit it out. Why did your bitch of a prince betray us? You. You're gonna start by dialing it down enough. You can't talk to me I like... could care less. It's not you I've come to talk to. You've gotta be kidding me. Where's your boss? Here. Miss Lewis. I presume. Osborne. At last. Well, you certainly are resourceful. Few people are able to escape from memory traps without assistance. Though I doubt you were able to escape with your memory unscathed. Let's put the matter behind us. Now that you're here and conscious, we'll be able to talk. Why did you lock me up? You represented a threat. A threat? I just wanted to talk to you. And why, pray tell? To explain the reasons for your prince's betrayal? The prince is on edge. She thought you might have been behind the attack. But seeing your reaction, I'm guessing you're not. Hmm. You're putting me in a somewhat awkward position. I would like to take you at your word. But that would mean putting what's left of my men in danger. If you're telling the truth, you're going to have to prove it. Honestly. If I wanted to finish the job, do you seriously think I would have come all by myself? Hmm. Point well taken. Go on. I'm listening. You have to believe me. We're not responsible for the attack at the party. The prince will be relieved to know that you're all safe and sound. If only that much were true. Many of our brethren were in attendance at that accursed reception. The prince has sent someone there to find out what happened. It was a dangerous decision, but it was the only way to get to the bottom of this. And in the same breath, she sent me here to see if you were safe. Very well, my dear. I would like to believe that you are not here to finish the job, as they say. However, the idea that your prince sent you to help us? Iverson may be many things, but she is most certainly not sentimental. You're right. That isn't the only reason I was sent. Just why are you here, then? For our alliance. I know these times are tough, but the Prince wants to make sure our agreement still stands. What agreement? What do you mean, what agreement? The union you were supposed to celebrate at the party. Be more specific. What were the particulars? With all due respect, Mr. Osborne, I'm a little too old for pop quizzes. We both know the broad terms of the Alliance. I wouldn't be here if that wasn't the case. Can we just get down to business? 
What attitude? Hmm, fine. You're right, we've wasted enough time already. Let the negotiations begin. What negotiations? Look around you. This room used to be teeming with devoted kindred. We lost three quarters of our people. Hartford has taken serious risks. In all regards, risks that are not on par with your prince's commitments. We demand compensation. I see. You seem to know the terms of the Alliance like the back of your hand. You're more than qualified to participate in these negotiations. With all due respect, I don't think... Enough small talk. What is your prince willing to give us to salvage this alliance and right the wrongs that she's caused us? I could get you a place on the Primogen Council. No, no. Say no more. I appreciate your gesture, but I already have a seat on the Primogen Council. What? You heard me right. Iverson already promised me a place in the Primogen. It would appear that your prince has a rather generous hand in her distribution of seats. Finally, something we can agree on. What if the prince gave you a slice of her city? That would depend on the neighborhood. Hey ma'am, girl, where are you going with this? Whichever one you want. Downtown? Within reason. Hmm, all right. How about Charlestown? Why not? Very well. We have a deal. I'll contact our headquarters in Hartford to iron out the details. Fantastic. Hazel's gonna kill me. Well then, it looks like we have ourselves an agreement. Hartford will remain under Boston's umbrella. For now. Iverson will still have to answer for the party. What happened was unacceptable. I will not turn a blind eye. I understand. That being said, I applaud your demeanor. The situation wasn't exactly to your advantage. Thank you, sir. Very well. I'll contact your prince in the next few days. I think we're done here, unless there's anything else you wanted to talk to me about. I would like to ask you a few questions. If you have a minute, of course. Of course. I bumped into a few people during my... detention. Humans. Yes. Who are they? What are they doing here? They're the forgotten, the invisible. People who live on the streets. Junkies. Squatters. They wander in here by choice or ill fortune. Well, we do need blood, like everyone else. Seems like your business has been turning for quite some time. Am I right? Indeed, you're not mistaken. Warlocks have always had a special talent for getting the most out of blood. Call it our trademark. There's always been trafficking, but what your prince is proposing goes much further. 
combining Dr. Dunham's expertise with the skills of the Tremere clan. The result would be... Enormous. Precisely. You mentioned my memory fragments earlier. Yes. Am I the only victim to suffer the effects of your magic? No, far from it. Anyone who enters the prison is affected. Including you? Of course. But we have rituals to counteract its effects. You led me to believe that the loss of them was... permanent? Not necessarily. Memory impairment is a side effect of the dimension. How permanent the condition is varies from one person to the next. That's the kind of thing I wish I'd known going into this. I can only imagine. But as I told you, you may not have anything to worry about. With any luck, it should all come back to you in time. At least, if it comforts you, I truly hope so. I don't get it. Why do you target memories? You could have just built a bunch of high security cells. Believe me, all cells can be breached, even the strongest ones. But if you rob prisoners of their memories, they lose their very desire to escape. In theory. In theory. No, I'm good. Uh, very well. You'd best be running along back to your prince. I'm sure she's eager to hear your report. That she certainly is. Very well, Miss Lewis. Mr. Moses. Uh, would you please escort M.M. out? It would be a shame if she were to get lost again. As for the rest of you, it seems we need to start packing our things. Next stop, Charlestown. Hmm, nice badge. Keep an eye on the elevator. I'm, I'm gonna go wait for forensics. Okay. Let me know when oh, they get here. Oh, excuse me. A message from the sheriff. Prince asked more for five reports. If I can't bring back their author... I must bring back the reports at least. I'll know them when I see them. That's not a good sign. Special Agent Smith. The FBI! Finally, some backup! Lieutenant's expecting you. Straight ahead. Watch out for the bloodstains. Forensics hasn't been through here yet. Got it. The victim lost a lot of blood. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still looking. Oh. Hmm. Don't worry. A 
finish here and then I'm on my way. Free. You're gonna be okay. Lieutenant Anderson, I'm in charge of the investigation. Special Agent Smith, FBI. Really? Smith? Is that some kind of joke? No, why? Uh, let it go. Never mind. I'll give you the DL. We got a call from the caretaker around 2.15. He told us that one of his residents was brought in with an injury carried by his bodyguards. We sent a squad car that got here around 2.45. Is the caretaker still here? He's in the living room. But I don't think you'll be able to get anything useful out of him. Poor guy's in shock. Who was the first person on the scene? That would be Baker. He's somewhere around here. It shouldn't be hard to find him. Okay, then what? When they stepped inside, the guys came face to face with that. Do we know who the victim is? Yeah. He had his ID on him. It's the owner, a guy named Jason Moore. I don't know who this guy pissed off, but things didn't work out too well for him. Did you secure all the exits and entrances to the building? Yes, we've got men on the ground floor and in the parking garage. How do you get to the parking garage? You'll have to ask the caretaker. He's the one who took my men down there. What have you got on Moore? He was an asset manager. But if you ask me, he was involved in some shady stuff that we're sure to find out about. It's not every day that an accountant gets his head chopped off. Do we know if he had a family? Yeah, a wife and an eight-year-old daughter. The wife, Lydia Moore, 34 years old, architect, dual citizen of Costa Rica and the US, no criminal record. Yeah, we're trying to get a hold of her. The daughter, June. We've looked, and she's not here either. Where are the bodyguards? We haven't found anyone yet. Go on. We're still looking for the head. We're waiting on forensics for everything else, but they're busy with another case. What case? You haven't heard? At one international place. They say it was a real bloodbath. So, you're here to take over the case? No, no. I'm working on something else. Moore's name popped up in one of our investigations. But I can't talk about it. Okay, I'll let my team know. Agent Smith from the FBI is here. We're still in charge of the investigation, so please cooperate with him. He was decapitated. It was a pretty clean cut. Bullet wound in the right hip. A signet ring with a beaver on it. More went to MIT. There's a retainer here somewhere. Moore's driver's license. Sorry, I'm busy. My ship ended up at the bottom of the sea as well. Like my other lives.
The apartment has changed since my last visit. Jason, Lydia, and June. A little family all together. And in large format. His MIT class ring. Right where you can't miss it. The same one I saw on the body. Lydia. Radiant and beaming. <laughs> June. Who looks more like Jason than Lydia. I have to question him. He's still freaked out. I don't think it's the right time. Somebody slept here. Mr. Adams? No. This can't be happening. What a nightmare. So much blood. I've got a few questions. I tried to help him. I told him we should call 911. I told him. Mr. Adams, you need to calm down. You're not responsible for it. We all know that. So, come on now. I need some answers. What an asshole. How dare you? A man died tonight. Okay, okay, I get it. Leave me alone. I won't answer your questions. It's terrible. I just can't believe it. It's awful. I should have done more. Sir, listen to me. It's all right. Calm down. You're safe and you did the right thing. I did the right thing. I need you to answer a few questions for me. I... I... Yes, of course. What do you want to know? Did you know Mr. Moore well? We weren't friends, if that's what you're asking. But we got to know each other. With time. <laughs> he was a creature of habit. Since he worked late, he would often ask me for things at night. A uh, newspaper, batteries, ice, I, I think he asked me for just about everything. I prided myself on always being able to get what he needed, no matter what time it was. You'd have thought he pretty much lived after dark. Like his clients. Did Mr. Moore have many visitors? For a man with his status, it was nothing surprising. But, well... Yes? His visitors mostly came in the middle of the night. I must admit, that's a little unusual. That's what working for us is like. He told me he had a lot of foreign clients, and he had to juggle different time zones. That's what working from home is like. He had colleagues over for late-night meetings, too. <laughs> but since little June was born... Not as many people came around. That was wise. Did he have any enemies that you were aware of? No. He was a very respectable man. No bad company or anything. Except for us. Tell me about the evening again, please. What happened tonight? Mr. Moore left with his his three bodyguards uh, earlier in the evening. One of them got in the car and 
Mr. Moore came down around midnight. And then? They came back around 2 a.m. Uh, Mr. Moore was limping. He, he was leaning on one of his bodyguards and he, he was bleeding. Was he injured? I told him I could call an ambulance or a doctor, but he didn't answer. I went closer to insist, but Wu told me they were in control of the situation, that it was no big deal. They went upstairs and I saw drops of blood in front of the elevator. I told myself they were being unreasonable. What did those two goons know about it? So I called Mr. Moore on the internal line. Several times. Did he pick up? Not once. So I went upstairs and rang the doorbell. But nobody answered. So I went back down to the front desk and I called you. Do you know his bodyguards? Yeah, there's uh, Jack, uh, James, and Wu. But you won't hear me singing their praises. Why not? Oh, they're good at strutting around and acting tough when everything is going well. But where were they tonight? Can you tell me that? That was their job, right? They were paid to... to protect him. Do you have any idea where they might have gone? No. But believe you me, if I ever see them again, I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. Do you know his wife? Mrs. Moore is a model resident. She always has something nice to say to the staff. And is the first to welcome new neighbors, too. A true lady. Do you think she could have been having an affair? She's a very respectable woman who loves her husband very much. I don't know what sick kind of world you live in. And you would certainly not like to find out. They had their ups and downs, just like any couple. The staff had noticed that she went to Costa Rica fairly often without her husband. Was she thinking of leaving him? Not at all. Just the opposite. She begged him to spend more time with her and their daughter. Do you know where she is? Mr. Moore told me she'd gone to their home in Costa Rica. She goes there pretty often. <laughs> She's an architect, and she likes to work in her home country. She has family there. Do you think anyone could have been so angry with her that they could have taken it out on her husband? Oh, no. I don't think so. It's true that lots of people could have been jealous of her. But not to that point. The lieutenant told me there was an access to the basement. Yes. Uh, using the service elevator th through the kitchen. You need a magnetic pass to use it. I gave the spare to your colleagues who wanted to go down there. I still have the original. Do you want it? Please. Thank you for your statement. You have to find out who did this, officer. Justice needs to be done for him. <laughs> and for his family. And we need to find out who's messing with us. That's what we're here for. You can count on us. Stick around in case we have more questions. Why is the FBI interested in Moore? His name came up in several financial investigations we're working on. Lydia's life seems to revolve around June and her home in Costa Rica, with Jason often absent.
Come on. It'll pass. Don't worry. Are you all right? Yeah, just a little faint. I was expecting it, but then... Uh, give me a minute, and I'll, I'll head back. The sight of blood. We've all been there, haven't we? No. Ugh, oh, what a stench. Fine vintages imported from Europe. More knew how to treat his guests. A drafting table. That must be Lydia's desk. June in Costa Rica. The blueprints of a house on the west coast of Costa Rica. Pura Vida Extension Project. This morning for the first day of school. He surprised me, and I'm coming to see you tonight. Don't tell Abuelita, it'll be a surprise to her. And Dad's coming too. I can't wait to get there. XOXOXOXO. <laughs> Damn it, Lydia. I can't do it without you. If, if you could just see June, I can't tell anyone. I'm not gonna make it. I need... I'm sorry. I apologize for everything. I should have left. The three of us should have gone. Stayed at Pura Vida the way you wanted. I'm so sorry for what they did to you. I'll always love you, Lydia. Forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> I've never been in this part of the apartment before. Poems in Lydia's mother tongue. Someone tossed a bunch of stuff in this bag, in a hurry to leave. Beryl, will you ever change? And 
understand better now. The prince asked more for a complete report on the members of the primogen. Disinfectant, obviously handled by someone who was bleeding. My sire always said that at a prince's court, like in a game of chess, you must know when to sacrifice your pawns. Did you find anything? We're waiting for the forensics. You must be Smith. Yes. Rickman. Have you found anything? Not yet. This is the girl's room. There's no sign of her. I guess that's a good thing. I'm going to take a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Smith. Hmm. Did you inherit your mother's artistic talent, you? with a shower and a tub. June's father spoils her. June's whole life in pictures. found anything I'm going through the financial records more manage the accounts for a lot of big names in Boston here take a look for yourself anything worth noting honestly I don't know it's not my field we'll have to take it to the financial crimes unit to see what they make of it Get in touch if you find something. All right.
This is where I met Moore for the first time. Human logic is beyond me. What's the point in doing that? June at the beach. A souvenir from the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Nice collection. Working for us has its advantages. Portfolios of old shares. A Boston manufacturer's files. The mayor's deeds. John, are you making plans in case things go south? Or are you planning to leave us? An auction. Acquisition of Lot 87. Dijon Siaka. Hmm, a trumpet belonging to Don Ellis. An auction. Acquisition of Lot 87. Dejan Siaka. Hmm, a trumpet belonging to Don Ellis. Hmm, I should... Officer Baker, can I help you? Were you the first person to arrive at the scene of the crime? Yes, sir. My partner and I were the first to get here. Just tell me about it. We got the call around 2.20. The caretaker had called because a resident was injured. It took us about 20 minutes to get here. The poor guy was in a panic. He told us he'd seen one of the tenants, Jason Moore, enter the building, and he looked hurt. He was being held up by his two bodyguards, and he was bleeding a lot. Did he see the wound? Yeah, he said the victim was holding his right hip. So I went upstairs with the caretaker. We saw blood in the elevator and on the landing. I rang the doorbell, but nobody answered. 
so the caretaker opened the door. I identified myself. There were traces of blood leading down the hall away from the entrance, and just after that, I uh, found the decapitated body. Did your partner come with you? No, he stayed in the foyer to secure the entrance to the building. Then what did you do? I called for backup. They told me that forensics would get here as soon as they could. They were out at another case. That was their top priority. After that? I secured the entrance to the apartment. After that, I searched the ground floor. There was nobody around. But from the looks of things, somebody searched the apartment. When Sergeant Lehane got here, she took care of upstairs. It's a good thing, too, because it took everyone else another 15 minutes to get here. She didn't find anyone there. So there's no sign of the family, then? Nothing. The place is empty. If you remember anything else, let me know. Of course. A real jungle in the heart of Boston. A truly peaceful oasis. Why were you looking for peace, Jason? I warned you, Jason. God, did I warn you. We destroy all that we touch. They wanted to bring a little vacation back home. It seems like gardening is a real passion for Lydia. Not sure Jason shares your enthusiasm. Wet laundry, mold, it's been here for several days. Can you take a look at the cards, please? I'll run the plates. Hey, mister. You can't go into the parking garage. It's a crime scene. Agent Smith, FBI. Oh, hi. Officer Norton. Hey, they didn't tell me you were coming down. Got something? 
Wyatt saw Moore leave at 2.25. Wyatt? The parking attendant, part security guard, part valet. Anyway, a car that belonged to the victim left in a hurry. Or at least he thought it was Moore, until he found out he got his head cut off. There's skid marks on the ground and uh, signs of a minor accident at the exit. He must have really been in a hurry. Well, I've got a few questions. Do we know what kind of car it was? Yeah, we called it in. It's the victim's sports car. Wyatt said there's only the sedan left. Where's the witness? Wyatt? He's uh, in the security booth over there. He's super nice. I don't think you'll need to question him again. You mentioned skid marks. Yeah, they're very distinct. They start from his parking space and go all the way to the exit. They clean this place twice a day, so there's no doubt they're fresh. The driver peeled out of here in a hurry. And you said there was an accident near the exit. Yeah, minor one. Broken headlight, paint marks. He must have had a hard time handling it. Did you find anything else? No, that's it. Since we're still waiting for forensics, we gotta be careful. But you know how it is, right? Let me know if you have uh, any other questions. Hilda's planned for everything, even her eventual end. Do you know if our backup's on the way? This should take in a long time. Agent Smith, FBI. Oh, hello. McLean. Can I help you? Just a few questions. Moore had several cars, right? Yeah, I think so. But you better talk to Wyatt about that. If you want to find out more, you should talk to... Uh... Wyatt. Oh, so you know him too. Access to the trash is restricted here.
Hello, Mr. Bazori. You must be mistaken. I'm Smith, Agent Smith. Yeah, sure. Do I know you? Everyone knows who you are. Is it just me, or are you pals with all the cops around here? Let's just say I'm pretty... intuitive. You know what I mean. In the years you've been hunting us, you've acquired a hell of a reputation among our kind. I didn't know you would come. I'm not looking for any trouble. I, I... I didn't do anything wrong. I... Just who the hell are you? Me? I, I'm nobody. The name's Wyatt Alvarez. I was embraced five years ago. Mm. A thin blood. I spent years hunting them when Quentin King ruled Boston. Unfortunately for me, the blood of my sire was already weak. So I can still catch glimpses of the sun, but I don't have actual powers. Who created you? His name was Victor, but he died last year. What are you doing here, then? Uh, I thought it was a pretty cushy gig. It leaves me with a lot of spare time, even while I'm on the job. And it also means I can live at night. Are you involved in what happened up there? Not at all. I swear, I've got a sweet job here. I'd never risk it. So what happened? I've got no clue. My shift started at 10 p.m., as usual. The sixth floor tenant left around 11? At midnight, one of Mr. Moore's bodyguards came down to get the car. They were going to a party, apparently. I didn't see them come back. Then, around 2.20 or so, one of Mr. Moore's cars went flying out of here. It hit the wall near the exit. Did you recognize the car? Yeah, it was his sports car. The only one like it here. Did you see who was behind the wheel? No, it's got tinted windows. I thought it was Mr. Moore at first. But from what happened upstairs, <laughs> I doubt it now. Hey, were you the one who- You really think if it was me who did it, I'd be standing around here trying to figure out what happened? What can you tell me about Moore? I saw him a lot. He's the tenant I got to know best because of his working hours. And he was the most generous when it came to maintaining his cars, too. Anything in particular about Mrs. Moore? Yeah, I see her every once in a while. Sometimes I see her with a girl, coming back from vacation. Sure is good they weren't here tonight. What makes you say that? Well... Mrs. Moore's car. I haven't seen it in the garage for weeks, and she's the one who took the girl to school. Mr. Moore told me they were on vacation, and he was going to go join them soon. Did you see the bodyguards today? James came by earlier this evening to move Mr. Moore's car, but I haven't seen them since. How do you open the dumpsters in the garbage room? What dumpster? The dump... <laughs> Are you toying with me? No, but the cops already looked. There's nothing there. Open it. Mr. Missouri, I promise you won't find anything there. And I can't open it anyway. It's for staff only. Why do you want to go through the trash anyway? You sure you want to piss me off, Wyatt? No, no, no. Of course not, Mr. Missouri. 
That's not at all what I wanted to do. Listen. We're just gonna forget this conversation ever happened, and... Excuse me? You didn't just try to corrupt my memories, did you? Oh, no. Uh, I I'm so sorry, Mr. Missouri. I shouldn't have. I know. How can I make it up to you? You're taking a big risk by messing with someone like me. I'm sure that's not news to you. Yes, I know. But it doesn't have to come to that. I meant no disrespect. Obviously. Obviously. So you could open this dumpster for me. Open it now. Just promise me you won't touch anything. Some of my stuff is in there. Please, don't touch it. I've already wasted enough time with you. I can't just open the door for you like that. I really can't. Really? You've got to understand. I can't let you see what's inside. I've been sent by the Prince of Boston. Do you really think I owe you anything? That's not what I meant. You talk too much. Open the door. Right away. All right. It's open. Wouldn't you rather tell me what you're hiding in there? Well, I cook a little. A guy's got to survive. I don't have to tell you that. I don't make a whole lot of money here. What do you cook? Oh, a little of everything. But I've got all my stuff in there. And there's some pretty rare ingredients. Rare? Yeah. And kind of illegal, too. Such as? In some recipes, well, I use vials of Kindred's blood, for instance. Whose blood? Well, it depends on what I can find. Okay, but what have you got right now, exactly? If I tell you, can it stay just between us? You're not fucking going to start again. Okay. Oh, okay, I... I managed to obtain some of Quentin King's blood. But of course. This guy's the perfect patsy. I almost pity him. Hmm. King answered the beckoning at the same time as the rest of the city's elders. It can't be his blood. One more thing, boss. Don't call me that. I hope we'll meet again, Mr. Missouri. Nothing in it. Why it's makeshift lab, and it's not meth. A shoe with worn out leather. I wonder what he's cooking with that garbage. Who would want to take that? Empty soda cans. Old chicken feet. Oh. 
wasn't expecting to see you here. Woo. If it was a bodyguard who died in the lobby, where the hell is more? <sighs> Nothing. How can I help you, Agent Smith? I went through your trash. So? Are you interested in one of my ingredients? That's not really what I've got a problem with. What? You didn't tell me about the man's head in a plastic bag. W what? But what the hell? Is it more? No. That head belonged to one of his bodyguards. I... but... It wasn't me, Mr. Missouri, I swear. I don't know anything about it. Okay, I believe you. Happy to help. I've got what I need. Let's go back to the prince. Mom, have you ever been here before? No, this place is a rental pumpkin. It was just for the party. Oh, do you know what happened? No, that's what we are here to find out. But we have to be very careful. Do you remember our rules for when we go out? Yes, I become invisible and don't touch anything. That's a big girl attitude. You can walk around as long as you don't stray too far. And if there's any sign of trouble, I wait for you outside? That's it. We make a great team, Sweet Fangs. The police are here. Shit. That's a bad sign. 
Remember what we said. No wandering off. Yes, Mom. I'm a big girl. <sighs> okay, then. Where are you, Richard? I'll still go and relieve a colleague later. Yeah, we're all gonna need breaks and breathers. Stop! You can't come through here! Hi, uh, I live in the building, and I was told to come give a statement. You need to go down to the precinct to give your statement, ma'am. Only law enforcement is allowed here. Oh, I hadn't understood that. Thank you. Have a pleasant evening. There's no way I'm gonna get access if I'm not one of them. You shouldn't be out, and especially not here. Move. <laughs> Great. Now I just need to find a secluded spot. This should do the trick. Sorry, but uh, we got a full house. Officers tripping over each other already. Only forensics is allowed in the crime scene. And the feds, of course. No sweat. It was just in case you needed help. I should find a uniform I can use to get in. This isn't rocket science. Keep it simple. I'll update the guys. You're taking over the investigation, and we'll put all the stabbing victims in crates and send them out to the balcony. Exactly. Do you have any idea what happened? Richard, he sensed me. He's here, but something's wrong. Good evening, officer. Uh, gentlemen. All these bodies. What the hell happened? Body bags. What could that mean? Uh, I just got here. Can you fill me in? I've never seen anything like it. It's a real bloodbath in there. Do we know what happened? Captain Paulson thinks it looks like some kind of goddamn cult. But I've heard the feds talking about terrorists. The feds are here already? They showed up the minute we got here. We didn't even get a chance to see everything. How'd they get here so fast? They know who did it, obviously. What do we know about all these bodies? Those are the ones we can take down already. The ones that were stabbed in the chest need to be put in crates and moved to the balcony. The feds will process them. We are not allowed to touch them. Stabbed how? Looks like some kind of sacrifice. They all got stabbed in the heart, it looks like. But if you want to make yourself useful, go see Paulson. Where is he? You just missed him. He just went into the living room. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna take a look around. Body bags. What could that mean? Take a minute. Right away.
How long are we gonna guard this door? Casings everywhere. All of them large caliber. Oh, there's so much blood. I sense you're losing control. It's all this blood. I need to focus. Mom, are you... are you feeling all right? Yes. Don't worry about me, Pumpkin. Mom, we... please? I... I'm going to be... thick. All this blood... it feels so... strong. Oh, crap. She feels as bad as I do. I want to leave, Mom. I'm scared. I don't like it either, Sugar Fangs. But your mother has a job to do, you understand? If you're scared too, then why don't we just leave? Because Hazel asked me to do this. I like Hazel. She lets me come with you. But there are too many people here. And they're all torn and broken. We have no choice. Can't you feel all that blood everywhere? Are we going to be hungry like this the whole time? We'll figure something out. Say, I was thinking we haven't played a game together in ages. I know. I miss our games. Why don't you think up a riddle for Mom to solve? I... Okay. Hunger like that? Not now. Not here. A vessel with more holes in him than a junkie. We're off to a good start. Donors were killed here, and not just one. I still have work to do, sorry. A reinforced container that locks from the outside. Not commonly used to store mortal bodies. All right, guys. Listen up. The feds are taking over the investigation. So don't touch a thing. Put all the stiffs with stakes through their hearts out on the balcony. They'll take care of them. All right, go. You know what you have to do. Shit. Uh, I have to find Richard and fast. All said and done, it's probably better that the feds are handling this case. They have more resources to solve it. Yeah, and the means to analyze everything we've already taken out to them on the balcony. There's a note. I wonder what surprise Jara had in store for him. We've made good progress already. Burn marks. Incendiary bullets. 
Really? Someone's hunting vampires. Looks like it was made by a shotgun blast. And we're not talking 12 gauge, but something bigger. Someone wanted to make sure there would be no survivors. Traces of cocaine. I guess it was that kind of party. Ballistic should be here soon. Hey, uh, Central Dispatch sent me over to help. Captain Paulson. But you can call me Chief. Sure thing, Chief. Right. You heard the orders? I... Everything we find at the scene needs to be shown to the feds. Got it, Chief. And the balcony is off limits. But you don't seem too thrilled about that? Am I wrong? Is it so obvious, officer? It's the first time in my entire career, and 30 years is a long time, that I feel like we're babysitting a crime scene. Babysitting? We've been ordered to secure the premises, lend our experts, and not ask any questions. So, uh, what do we know so far? Lots of Vicks. It has all the makings of a drug deal gone bad. He's not buying it. But you have your doubts? I do. There's too many things that don't add up. Like what, Chief? Bodies in accelerated decomposition. Even some skeletal remains. Shit. Kindred were destroyed. My hunch is that the Feds are investigating a cult. But it's none of our business. Thanks for walking me through it, Chief. You report it to them if you find anything suspicious, okay? I don't need their kind of trouble. Uh, I will be here all night. Only Federal operatives and their assets are allowed in this area. Sorry. So there's just these three left to bring down? At this security level, yes, Agent Olsen. Do you know how much time we got left to get this done? I've got no idea. I see. And the missing Delta? No. We still haven't found them. There's been wine in this glass. And there's a trace of lipstick. Cherry lip gloss? Yuck. Since your hunger, what's going on? Shit! It's starting again. Mom, are you okay? Do you feel weird too? We've already had that talk, Halsey, my love. Don't, don't look at it. So, have you come up with another riddle for me? Yes, I've got one. I'm listening. It's not too hard, is it? No, no. Riddle me this. I fear the sun more than anything, and the mortals have been fighting me since forever. If they catch me, they keep me in a box. Who am I? The sun makes me think of us, but that box... That doesn't sound right. I'd say... Could it be... a fridge? You're very warm. The cold, it's the cold. Is that it? Yes! You're good at riddles, Mom. And you, my little pumpkin. You are a riddle master. Thinking about something else helps. <sighs> Me too. But we need to get going. Mom? What is it, Sugar Fangs? I hear voices, Mom. Do you hear them too?
I hear Richard's voice calling out over the others. We need to hurry now. I hear him too, but I don't understand why we have to help him. He never wants to help us. Of course he does. Then why does he keep us apart? I... Uh, maybe it's just so that when we're together, we appreciate each other all the more. We do, right? I don't like it when we're apart. I don't trust him. We need to keep moving, Pumpkin. While Mom works, Halsey will come up with another riddle. Sound good? All right. We're doing all right. Someone must have tried to mop up a stain with it. Somebody spilled wine on this bag. Miley was supposed to speak. <laughs> or rather, flatter Hazel. A cigar. Kamiko Izanami. Now I remember. She turns vessels into marionettes during parties. A pouch stained with wine. Soap. Can someone come and bag a briefcase in the kitchen? A briefcase? Shit out of luck. I'm out of large size evidence bags. We got backup on the way. They'll have some. What do we have here? Tons of evidence. Do you know if the team from Forensics LPU has shown up yet? No, I don't. I need to process the briefcase I found. And the invoice that was with it. An invoice? Yeah, for some glass tubes. Address to some warehouse over on Sellers Street. Shit. There's a red salon in that district. We've got to hand it all over to the feds. I can do it I if... already gave them the address. They'll probably send a team to investigate when they're done here. I've got to warn Hazel. I guess they could use it as an excuse to add a door. A briefcase? What is it? It's a small suitcase. We put important papers in, Pumpkin. Hmm. One handcuff is still attached. There's a name engraved on it. More. That rings a bell. No trace of explosives. One of ours must have gone through it. Maybe trying to escape? It's the reference of the container that was here. Vessel dead. Blood sprayed everywhere. Of 
course. It needs a code. Let's see what's in it. Supplier invoices, client files, all in Beryl Underwood's name. Oh, better not leave that here. Otherwise, they'll trace it back to us. Pinot Noir. I think I used to like this wine. A second handcuff. Broken, just like the other one. I've never been on a scene with them. Sorry, only forensics can go in there. So? Nothing. A photocopier and some office supplies. No corpses anywhere? No. It's the only room without a body. But it sure smells like death in here. Yeah. Makes our morgue smell like a flower shop. You get a look at what they took out to the balcony? No, everything is boxed up. Even the chief has no idea what they're up to. Come with me over there. Of course. to conceal the door. Why would somebody do that? Wow. What the hell happened here? He's dead. With gear like that, he's gotta be one of the men who hit us. S.A.D. They even gave themselves a name. Shot full of lead. She's wearing a Red Salon vessel's uniform. Ugh, I remember now. It's the effects of the drugs that Richard gives them to enhance her flavor. Even dead, I feel a righteous rage. Only Richard's work on donors makes that possible. That sounds like Richard. Preparing vessels with injections? <sighs> There's been blood in this glass. I never understood wasting vessels like that. <laughs> oh shit. Help me. Mom? Is somebody there? Stay where you are, honey. Leisha, help me. 
That's Richard's servant. Natasha, keep your voice down. There are still people here. Shit, you don't look so good. What did they do to you? We, we hid in here. I was with a vessel that Richard had prepared for the evening. Carmen. I, I was able to conceal the door behind us, but it was too late for Carmen. We were followed. But I got that son of a bitch. Did you see what went down here? I was... In the living room, there was a, a wall, a wall of fire on the balcony. With flamethrowers from the roof. They blew out all the walls. It, it came from all sides. They know who we are. They were shouting out numbers, checking off a list. Were they looking for us? Yes. They were. They know how to identify us. Miley, have you seen her? She was... Uh, yeah. Uh, went out to smoke. I, I... Take it slowly. Do you know where Richard was? In... A big pet room. Listen. The police and the feds are still here. Just hang in there until they leave, and... Too... late. It's... It's too late. Richard will be proud of you. Mom? Yes, Pumpkin. It's all right. It's worse than I thought. But Hazel will be able to get us out of here. on deck can't hurt. Tiny bit. It's all this blood. Me either, Pumpkin. It's not easy. <sighs> Let's take a little time out then. Weren't you supposed to be coming up with a riddle for me? Oh, yeah. I forgot. I'm ready. I'm listening. Okay, but it's the last one, all right? Cross my heart, Pumpkin. So, riddle me this. If the child of Hazel Iverson is a sire of my child, who am I to Hazel Iverson? Hmm... Hmm... Huh. Let me think on it a moment. I guess... I would be her child. Oh! You figured it out! That was a hard one, too. You're not disappointed, are you? No, no. I'm happy that you're so good at riddles. So are you, Sugar Fangs. I love it when we play this game. So do I, Pumpkin. It's so much fun. And we feel better. Time out is over now. Let's go. We're really close to Richard. But I don't want to see him. I know he doesn't like me.
What could possibly make you think that? He doesn't want you to take care of me. He says it out loud all the time. Listen to me, Halsey. What matters most is that I love you, don't you think? Yes, I guess so. Then we need say nothing more. I don't have to tell him you're here. Getting him out of this mess is already doing him a favor. It won't take me long. Just wait for me here. Yes, Mom. I will. We've got to keep it up. Come on, I have to find Richard. Ah, finally, the Calvary. Thanks for coming. It's a good turn if I can take a look around here alone to myself. Have you learned anything? I'm just getting started. Well, actually, it has been an hour already. There's just so much evidence to collect. You look like you've had better days. It's not like this is my first crime scene, you know? But none of this adds up. It's the kind of case you take home with you. What do you mean? Go figure. What's with all these bodies in various states of decay? This shit is gonna give me nightmares you can't wake up from. And the feds are telling us not to ask any questions. You have an idea why? Never met a talkative fed. And they graphed them poker faces at Quantico. But I can tell you one thing. They got here fast. Quicker than the blowflies. They took one look at the carnage, and acted like it was just another day at the office. All right, why don't I bag this room? How far'd you get? Examine the spatter trajectories. Get us enough data to calculate spray velocity. We'll need it. I'll keep collecting samples of blood and body fluids. All right. It's the reference of the container that was here. Torn off. Oh, Jara could have done that. must have been screwed onto an injection gun. And the fibrogen... That's an improved coagulant. I've heard that if it's used on one of our kind, it can keep us from regenerating. Or even using our powers. A real nasty concoction. That's a knife wound. Huh. <laughs> Bringing a knife to a gunfight? him for dead. He's barely breathing. This one's missing fingers. Richard.
They sure did a number on you. They're here. They found us. Before I knew it hit me, I had a stake in my heart. I've never seen anything like it. These mortals aren't afraid of us. Shh, gentle. You shouldn't be here. You should be at the Institute. Calm down. What happened here? The mortals who are here? It's the Second Inquisition. <sighs> what makes you say that? Are, are you sure? Yes, there's even a man of the cloth in charge of them. Monsignor Stanford. They mowed us down like so many blades of grass. All of us. So... They found us. We have to go on the others. Wait. There might still be kindred here. We can't leave them behind. This is insane. It's irresponsible. The prince asked me to find Miley. But I need your help. Miley? Well, now I understand. The prince had you released. Against my orders. And she sent you here. And you'd rather obey her? She's using you! There's no way I'll help. Ask her for help since you're here for her. You didn't show up at the Elysium. I thought you might need help. Now isn't that ironic? The doctor needing help from the patient. But I was right, was I not? I... Yes. That's not the question. It's obvious that Hazel is manipulating you. She cares about me. I don't see why it's an issue. Does she care about you? Or about your premonitions? That argument doesn't hold water. Hazel's not the first person to take an interest in our gifts. Princes have always sought glimpses of tomorrow to better rule their domains. Take Quentin King, for example. Yes, I know. She wants to separate you from me, I'm sure of it. What has she been telling you about me? Hazel told me that she trusted me. You do well not to return the favor. Why is that? You don't release a patient from a Markovian Institute to run a few errands. Ugh. You always see the bad in everything. Your gifts can be particularly useful to her. Keep it in mind. I just know it's a good thing that she likes us. Well, you particularly. Right. It's a good thing I keep my emergency kit at the Prince's apartments. Why? I'll give you a dose once we're back there. That should be enough to get you back to the Institute. All is well. I'm doing better. I promise. I sincerely hope you're telling the truth. I only want what's good for you, you know. I know. Well, it is already something if you're feeling better. Hazel should have respected my instructions. What do you mean? She should have followed the treatment I prescribed for you, that's all. This issue is not over. I will have words with her. Let's get out of here. You go ahead. I'll catch up with you. 
Felicia, that's not what I... You want me to trust you, but you don't trust me. It's not that. I'm... I'm just worried about you. Get going. The clock is ticking. You can, at the very least, let me help you. Here, with this, you should be able to temporarily impersonate anyone. I'll find Miley and catch up to you, okay? She was with me when they attacked us. She was? Yes, she was injured, but she managed to escape down the hallway. I heard them capture her. I can still sense her. She's hurt. But she's still here. Thank you. Come on, we don't have a minute to spare. Oh, and tell them they have the address of the Red Salon on Cellar Street. We should expect a second attack there. I must inform the court. Be careful. I'll be counting the minutes until you return to us. With Richard's help, I'll be able to find Miley for Hazel. A stake. There's no doubt about it. This is for us. A cigar. Barely smoked. That's where it was stubbed out. Huh. I've already seen this brand here. Sorry. Only special agents are allowed in this area. What's going on here? Go right ahead. Here we go. I wonder what's hiding here. Stanford was right. We brought down some high value targets. Yeah, I. Don't touch those papers. Shit. There are names on these files. I'd better get him out of here so I can take a look. Don't bother with that. Those are Stanford's files. He brings paperwork on a job like this? Yes. So his novice can record whether they were captured or exterminated. If they have intel on us, I have to find out what they know. His novice is busy, and... Uh... Agent Olsen's got a lot to do. But he's handling it himself. I needed to see him anyway. I'll just take them to him. Don't bother, he'll pick them up on the way to see Stanford. Go put away what's on the table. I... Okay. Finally. Now I can take a look at those files. Targets? Numbered. With names. <gasps> they even have a file on Richard. I think that's Dijon's child. Was, I mean... Oh! Miley! 
They haven't taken her yet. Jara already evacuated. She's on the council, I think. No way I'm letting them keep that. Organs. Are they cutting us up into pieces? Sorry, I don't have the Seeing this, right? They are collecting us. Dust. They didn't just kill neonates. I wonder who that was. Rotting flesh. That kindred had been embraced recently. They're collecting us. I can't believe it. Medical supplies? Hey, you! Come give me a hand. We have specimens to move. Uh, here are the containers Richard told me about. Bingo. The files of everyone they're taking away. Which one is Miley in? Adrenaline? That only stimulates mortals. So, has forensics processed the bedrooms? Yeah, I think so. They, uh... You... think so? Isn't there anyone here that can inform me about anything? I've been asking for an hour. I must give Monsignor an update detailing how long this is going to take. Let's not keep him waiting, then. But the local police are very... Just tell them Agent Olsen sent you. And we will see how high they are willing to jump. We still have bodies to evacuate and samples to recover. You bet. You can count on me. Which one do you want to take down? Sorry, I've got one more thing to do. No problem. Which one do you want to take down? I'm taking this one to Long Island. Great. That's fine with me. Let's go, Sugar Fangs. Quick steps. Is everything okay, Mom? Yes. Yes, Pumpkin. Come on. See you later. I hope it's Miley.
So the prince wasn't too disappointed? She didn't express her gratitude at any rate. With you, she must not be used to failure. The others were pretty surprised, in fact. Were they? Some of them think you're not as motivated as you used to be. They think you're tired. They're wrong, aren't they? I'm not done yet. This body has many long years ahead of it. Then you'll have to prove to them. Those who are disappointed today will be your enemies tomorrow. Let them talk. You didn't tell me what was in those files you gave the prince. I don't see how that's any of your business. To make up your own mind about something, the best way is to go to the source. And apparently, Jason Moore is well informed. I see. You'll have to be patient, Fang. Do you... Do you think that this setback will be an issue for our plans mm, to... A favor from the Prince wouldn't have hurt. But it's not the be-all, end-all in determining your fate. How do you feel about it? Honestly? I just want to get it over with. Like when you're going into finals? Even if there's no going back? It's a little late for that, isn't it? It is. Your child? Earl Underwood. Did he have... any second thoughts? I don't want to discuss it. He's your only child, so I wondered how it went. Well, could you enlighten me? Beryl is very different from you. He always has been. I was blind. It won't happen again. Beryl would have begged me to get what he wanted. Your patience reassures me. I'm making the right choice with you. You seem to really have a problem with him. Yes, and that's why you must stay away from him. This separation between you... What caused it? Don't dig too far into it. You know this is something I don't discuss. That's too bad. I'm not one to beat around the bush, especially on a matter like this. So either be frank with me, or be silent. I'm sorry, it's just that it's not easy for me. I'm listening. Beryl asked me to come by and see him. Did you? I didn't think anything bad could happen. I actually thought that- You ignored what I told you. Don't ever do that again. What did he want with you? Nothing. In particular, he wanted to get to know me. He told me about Seattle, the Camarilla. He was just being nice, that's all. Beryl isn't nice. He's dangerous. I'm going to have a word with him. But... Wait here. Just one more, and then you can go rest. All right. Thanks, Ms. Ortiz. A message from Caius. Need you downstairs. Urgent issue. Bad timing. I'm going to have to choose. Help Caius, or speak with Beryl. We're waiting for Mr. Leto's signal. Until then, if you have any questions, save them. Got it? No problem. Great. I want to report on his activities pronto. I don't like the sound of that at all. Oh, there you are. Follow me, please. We'll speak in private. You wanted to see me? Happy to see you, Caleb. We don't usually let anybody down here, but I can bend the rules for you. To what do I owe this honor? I need you. Some things come up. On the night of the attack, someone sent a message to an unauthorized recipient.
Do you know who it was? Not now, but I will soon enough. Otherwise, the prince will have my head. Caleb, I need your help. I get the feeling that it's all connected. It's too huge to be a coincidence. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Jara Drory. What you're telling me is extremely serious. I hope you have proof. If I did, do you think I'd be asking for your help? But I wouldn't accuse her unless I had serious doubts. Think it through carefully. For starters, she's one of the few who knows how the system works. She'd be able to cover her tracks, wouldn't she? Maybe. But maybe she made a mistake. According to our intel, Jara may have been captured. <laughs> she was caught in her own trap. Anyways, nothing concrete. Just... A hunch, if you want to call it that. In my place, under the current circumstances, I can't really go poking my nose in her business. And I can. Nobody will bother you. I'm not asking for much. Just take a look in Jara's room to see if you can find anything that ties her to any of this. And if you could do it quickly. Why? Because I'm about to erase a ton of data. It's the Code Red protocol. And since Jara vanished, the Prince wants her personal data to disappear along with her. That doesn't give us much time. You in? I could maybe go and take a look around. Great. I found a key to her room. Take it. Thanks. It's our last chance to recover the data from Jara Drury's computer before everything disappears for good. Just insert this thumb drive and it will download everything I need. If she betrayed us, I'll know. Fine. I'll go see what I can find. Thanks. One last thing. Uh-huh. If you could keep this just between you and me. Fine. And don't come back to see me here. It's supposed to be sealed. It'll look suspicious. I'll send in an engineer after you. Give him the drive when you're done, but don't tell him anything. We have to keep this between us. As you wish. Mr. Bazori, it's a pleasure to have you back here. James, isn't it? Jason Moore's bodyguard? Yes, Mr. Bazori. I've got some questions for you. I've already answered so many questions. You weren't with Moore yesterday. You went against standing orders. No, he sent me to his office. Why? I was supposed to pick up some files. He was being really weird, like he was stalling for time. You were supposed to bring him here, weren't you? Yeah, but he said he had to get some documents from his place, and then he sent me to his office. At the time, I didn't think too much of it, but looking back on it, 
He was really doing everything he could not to leave with us. You should have been more attentive. What happened once you got to his office? I had a hard time finding what he wanted. He wasn't very clear about where I'd be able to find some specific invoices. You lost precious time. You weren't his hand servant. When I came back, the police had the whole place roped off, so I came straight here. And since then, I've done nothing but answer questions and wait. How naive. Moore was at the party. So were you. Yeah, I, uh... I don't like to talk about it. You don't really have a choice. Like I told the others, I don't really remember precisely what happened. It's all a blur. It happened so fast, and they almost got us! They came from all sides, and there was a stench of burned flesh and gunpowder. I'd seen a lot of things before, but that... it was unbearable. I don't know how we made it out. I don't know. Nothing before that. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I must leave you. I get the feeling I'll be staying here a long time. I want to make those bastards pay! Caleb, our secret agent is back already. The soldier is on furlough. Not for long, I'm afraid. The prince will undoubtedly have some new task for me. At least she trusts you. She hardly speaks to her primogen. Even Beryl is in the dark. He's not used to that. It'll be good for him. I heard you were doing business with him. It's something to do with the Rosemond Society, my foundation. Why? Now is not the time to be hiding things, given the circumstances. If the Prince were to hear about shady business dealings, Heads would roll. She wouldn't take someone's head over so little. We're taking advantage of a springboard for young artists in order to improve our profits. In other words, you're rigging a competition to make money. Bravo. You know how to read between the lines. I call it like I see it. Coming from you. All I can tell you is that Beryl's really the one who is in charge of it. Are you still not talking? You could say that. Any regrets? I'm planning to make up for it with Fang. Oh, so that's why you've become attached to that girl. I'm not attached to her. She's an asset for the Camarilla, and a necessary balance to temper Beryl's wicked games. Personally, I find that giving a child so much power is dangerous. The problem is that you have to watch them all the time, otherwise they end up making a mess of things. You might be right. Beryl didn't wait long before revealing his true nature. There's no denying that I'm at least partly to blame for the situation. Indeed. I would have done something about it, and he would have begged me for forgiveness. Do you really think you'll have time to embrace Fang? What do you mean? Well, with all the elders gone, who knows who'll be next? That's not something I'm willing to discuss with you. Suit yourself. No, 
Excuse me, I have to go. Of course. Let's see if Caius was right. Jara has always been wary of new technology. Take less than a minute. Jara always was old fashioned. Whatever's in this box must be important. Jara was conducting her own investigation. There is no way Caius would be expecting that. It appears Caius was wrong. He and Jara may have been looking for the same individual. I hope Caius will be able to use what's on this thumb drive. I think that's everything. Now it's Caius's turn. Hello, Mr. Vizori. Mr. Lido asked me to wait until you were done. He also told me you'd have something for me. Here it is. Give it to him, and him alone. And don't ask any questions. I get it. Are you done here? You may proceed. Thanks. Hmm. I hope Caius knows what he's doing. Hazel is probably ready to see me now. I won't make her wait. The Prince is ready to see you now. Great. Galeb. My Prince. We were expecting you. 
How may I be of service to you this time? One thing at a time. The situation has changed. The money is gone. The accounts have been emptied. What? That's impossible. Only Jason Moore could have transferred the money. The situation is dire. Moore would never have done it on his own. He would never have dared. I agree. It's much too bold a move for him. And that's what concerns me the most. Someone used him to attack us. Someone who was extremely well prepared. It might be one of our own. That's what I think. It's the most plausible explanation. If there's a traitor among us, I'll have their head. One thing at a time. I'll take care of the traitor, personally. Failure is a luxury we will soon be unable to afford. If you have nothing more to say, we can move on to the reason I sent for you. Did you read Jara Drory's file? I wish I'd never seen it. There's too much I despise in it. She never mentioned she was monitoring the Primogen's finances. But she's not here to shed any light on it. I'm listening. I've asked for your presence here because I have a new mission for you. Delson was able to track down the men who attacked us. It wasn't easy, but it was impossible for them to disappear without leaving a trace after what they did yesterday. Where are they hiding? Long Island. Yes, of course. An abandoned facility just off the coast. An old fort. It's the ideal place for a secret base. And certainly much more. Who knows what they're up to out there? <sighs> How is it we didn't notice a thing? They have abundant resources, and we're short on eyes. It doesn't matter. We'll find the people responsible for the situation later. Our most pressing issue is preventing them from striking us again. How? You're going to go there and kill their leader. As I've said before, you can count on me. Good. That's what I was hoping you'd say. When the time comes, I won't forget to reward those who've been loyal to me. I won't let you down. What's the plan? They evacuated the bodies from the site of the party, which is how we were able to pick up their trail. There's a small, nondescript warehouse at Jeffrey's Point. As far as we can tell, their transfers from Boston to Long Island are made by boat. To avoid drawing attention to themselves, they've chosen to employ only small craft. There are bodies packed in the warehouse waiting to be shipped over. Do you get the picture? You want me to disguise myself as a body to be evacuated? Exactly. All you have to do is stop simulating your vital functions for a few hours. It's risky. It's risky. But it's now or never. We might never get another opportunity. We have to try. The last transfer is probably going to take place tonight. After that, there's no way of knowing when we'll get another chance. I need to know the details. Let us worry about getting you into the warehouse. We've made all the preparations. You won't have to worry about a thing until you get to Long Island. And after that? Once you're on the island, you'll be in uncharted territory. You'll be on your own. Who is my target? Walter Stanford. He's the head of the Boston Task Force. He's part of what they call the Society of Leopold. Someone else will take his place. No need for you to worry about that for the time being. Your mission is to eliminate Stanford, and that's all. What do we know about this Stanford? Not much. They're very careful. He was sent from the Vatican, and he brought other fanatics with him. If he's here, it means that Rome has faith in him, and that can't be good for us. He's got to be taken out. What's the Vatican getting out of all this? Your guess is as good as mine. 
but it seems that the kind are trying to get a better understanding of us in order to hunt us more effectively. These priests have been our enemies for ages. They have knowledge. Putting an end to them is crucial. We must keep our enemies from unifying their strength. Aren't you worried someone will tip off the SI? There's still a traitor among us. The traitors, my department. You need to strike quickly, and don't let anyone know of your plans. We can't take the slightest risk. All right. I've heard enough. Very well. Then you should get going. We've already lost enough time. Very well, my prince. I'm guessing you tipped Bazori off to the traitor? Yes. Any news? Nothing since Richard's report. My city is in danger. Everything I've built, all the dreams I've invested, that Judas is a threat to everything. Not for long. You'll bounce back. Yes. Congratulations on your negotiations with the Chantry. Our agreement with Hartford is crucial. I almost didn't make it out. I could have ended up a guinea pig in their strange experiments. Don't be ridiculous. We would have realized you'd gone missing soon enough. I would have sent someone to get you. Ugh, that's enough brooding. That's not why I brought you here. I have a new favor to ask of you. What a surprise. About what I told you earlier concerning Delson and Long Island. I've got a plan. Oh. I know that look. Hazel. This is the best moment to strike. That sounds like the definition of rushing into things. Yes, but we have no choice. Delson? We need to blind them. From the inside. They know too much about it. We have to change that. For that, we need someone to hit them with a surprise attack from within their compound. I wish that person luck. It's you. That's way out of my league. Hazel's not asking for your opinion. You proved you were reliable with Hartford. We need your skill sets for such a risky and vital task. That's precisely what's got me on edge. It's your chance to prove to the court once and for all that you deserve a place on the Council, M.M. After this, you'll be untouchable. I sure hope so. All right? How do I get on this island? By boat? I doubt it coastlines under surveillance so i swim across all right what then kaya's wrote a program that can help us if you can upload it into their system it'll corrupt all the data they've got in their database their systems the archives it'll all be lost allowing us to cover our tracks it's our best shot at making it through this you'll just have to insert it into a computer that's on their network that's absolutely essential any questions So, let me get this straight. You want me to infiltrate the enemy base alone? The same enemies who just slaughtered half the camp. Quit whining. You can have help. Oh, really? Your task will not be easy. You'll need a diversion while you sabotage their system. A raid near their base, for example. That could work. Who will you send? I refuse to sacrifice any more of our people. 
so we might as well send in the riffraff. The Anarchs could do the job. Come again? You heard me. I want you to go see them and convince them to go with you to Long Island. You're trying to thin their herd. I'm balancing the scales, that's all. They can't stand us. They'll never agree to fight for us. Let alone on their own without us. They don't have to know they'll be alone. Lead them to believe our forces will join up with them. The SI is a threat to the entire city. They're just as concerned as we are. Right then. Let's say I agree. You don't have a choice, but I'll humor you. How am I supposed to go about it? I can't just go chasing down every Anarch I know to ask for their help. There's only one Anarch that counts. They're Baron. Randall Thane? That's right. He's in charge of the various Anarch gangs in the region. I don't know where he is right now. You'll need to use your network. Hmm. I've got an idea of who I can ask. What can I use as leverage if they try to negotiate? Money. Favors. Offer them whatever seems useful. All right. One more thing. Don't tell anyone about your task. Not even your sire. I don't want the Council poking their noses into this. That will be all. I'm counting on you, M.M. Be careful, and good luck. I'm gonna need it. M.M., there you are. I'm sorry I wasn't here to meet you when you got back. I was busy. Don't apologize. I missed you, McAndrews. The Jefferson Library, it was hell. I really thought I wasn't gonna make it, that I wouldn't see you again. Excuse me? That's all that inspires in you? You haven't spoken to me like that since our breakup. I'm just a little surprised. What are you talking about? We never- Broke up? It's been 30 years, Amem. What? I don't remember. I- Come on. I get the feeling we need to clear up a few things. <sighs> yeah. Come on, tell me what's going on. The Warlocks. I knew their library would leave a mark. They fucked with my head. So, if I understand right, you have no memory of our breakup. None whatsoever. I really thought that we... I mean... You know. There's a reason the Warlocks have a bad reputation. And you said it's been 30 years? More or less. That seems like forever. And then again, the blink of an eye for us. Believe me, it's been a long 30 years. When I was there, with the Tremere, I saw things, glimpses of the past. It was like I was reliving certain episodes of my past. I guess that's what Osborne meant when he told me about the memories. What exactly did you see? I saw my attack with the knights. I need to know. What happened after that? Did they pay for what they did to me? It's a long story, Mem. And it's not really a happy one. That's all the more reason! I want to know what happened. It's my memory, not some game. Exactly. I don't want to see you suffer again. I won't allow it. But it's not your choice. It's not you we're talking about. It's me. I can't just sit here not knowing. I won't tell you a thing. Hilda, please. I said no. There's no point in insisting. Fine. Whatever you want. That's all. I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I can't imagine how upsetting it must have been. Yeah.
Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. I'm sorry, I've gotta go. I need to take some time to process all of this. The prince is sending me out on another task. I can't screw up. What kind of task? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Hazel made that exceedingly clear. If she thinks things are better like that, I believe her. For God's sake, Amem, I'm your sire. You should trust me, not that snake in the grass. Personally, I've never had anything bad to say about Hazel. Unlike me, is that it? <laughs> You'd be singing a different tune if you knew what I know. If I knew what? Nothing. You wouldn't believe me anyways. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I'm sorry. You're right, you're my sire, I should believe you. And I do. We good? Would you tell me what you know? Please. Seriously, you don't think you're laying it on a little too thick? Not at all. You can be such a pain sometimes. Hazel's a smart woman. She knows what she needs to do to get what she wants. And she wants you. That's going too far. You think it's an honor, but you should really be worried. Hazel never does anything she's not sure she'll benefit from, which means she's got ways to make you bend to her will. She's careful to hide her secrets from you, safe behind her herald. Tonight could be your last chance to discover them. Very well, let's move on. You're right. You should go get some rest, and do think over what we've discussed. Promise me you'll be careful. I'll try. Do you think we have time to just laze around? You need to be fast and effective. Destroy anything we don't need. Keep what's important. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Miss Bosley. You're a good kid, Lazarus. I need a drink. Now, shake a leg. Old hag. All right, you heard her. Double time. I'd better hurry. A direct route to the prince's apartments. April plays the guard dog. The swan's nest. I hope it's worth it. Didn't know Hazel was into music. There are faint marks on the wall. I've always found swans very moving. They're beautiful, but full of melancholy. It's a nice symbol. I get the feeling something's missing. I 
I understand better now why Dijon never mentioned his sire. Hazel's always one step ahead. noise. Something moved. That explains why Hazel's holding off on Fang's embrace. Underwood. What a creep. Bazori is a loyal dog, and Hazel's got him on a short leash. So Hazel has her eye on my clubs. Ugh, politics. Always politics. What's her game? Is this how she thanks her allies? Hazel said there was an accident, but it was actually an execution. If Leisha were to find out, should go. It's gonna be a long night. First, the Anarchs. Mm, but I have to find them first.
palsy? Yes, Mom. I'm here. Hey, Pumpkin. What are you looking at? The picture. It's scary. Come now. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're not going to be afraid of a couple paintings now, are you? No. But... Yes, I know. It's Richard. He was angry, but he wasn't angry with you. You know... I don't think he is. He doesn't like me following you around. Yes, but it's because he worries you'll get hurt. Pumpkin, there are much more serious things going on right now. Those people who put us into boxes. Yes, them. But don't be scared. Mommy's here. I know. I won't let anyone hurt you. Ever. There you are. Where have you been? I've been looking for you since I got back, but... Uh... The prince hasn't given me a moment's rest since I returned. I won't hide the fact that I was happy that you were the one to... Well... That I informed them about the Second Inquisition. Yes, I can imagine. Everyone's petrified. I can sense it. He's lost it when she found out. I had a hard time convincing her I was telling the truth. I admit that even I... She's going to ask for your help. I'm sure of it. She didn't follow your treatment protocol. Usually, I give you your treatment when you awaken. You're not stable, Leisha. Enough with that already. You failed miserably with the mission the Prince gave you. That's proof of it. What do you mean? You didn't bring Miley back to the Prince, for starters. You slipped up. What do you mean? I was sure that... You become more and more overwhelmed by your visions and your hallucinations. All this because she's afraid! Hazel has become dependent on you. Don't you think you're blowing things a bit out of proportion? Dependent on me? On your visions, of course. Don't you understand? She didn't bring them up? She did mention them in passing. She needs your premonitions to help her anticipate the future, to try to influence the course of events. She would like to, you mean? What do you mean by that? They're strange images. You mean to say they're symbolic? That's it, symbolic, I guess. But it's hard to say what they could mean. That's why I don't think it's a good idea to encourage Hazel to think she can rely on your visions to serve her own ambitions. Here's a dose of your treatment. Take it immediately. This will rid me of my premonitions, is that it? I don't have time to break this to you gently. I have to go straight to the point. What are you talking about? Laisha, Halsey isn't real. What? It's not true, is it? You're the only one who sees her. No, no, no. Our family has a gift for seeing things. No, no, I... Halsey is my daughter. In your mind, it's always difficult to pull you away from her. That's why I try to treat you as soon as you awaken to keep Halsey from reappearing. He's lying, Mom! He hates me! You're either lying or you're wrong. I don't know which, but it's not true. Leisha. But, but Hazel, H Hazel sees her. When your hallucinations increase, your premonitions do too. They become more specific and more reliable. And that's what the Prince wants. But you grow increasingly catatonic. Halsey starts to take over. No! I don't want you to leave me! Enough! Shut up, both of you!
It's just you and me, Leisha. Oh, no. He's a liar. It's, it's not true. I regret having to inflict this terrible shock on you each and every time. Every time? Leisha, the prince wants to see you immediately. Yes, of course. Just a minute. I'm not supposed to be here. I should have left for the Red Salon already. Why? No, y you can't just leave like that. I have too many questions. Hazel doesn't like to wait. We'll have time. Go now. Obey the prince, Leisha. Stay where it's safe, and above all, drink. <sighs> there. I'm coming. Laisha, I wanted to thank both of you for- The prince sees me. See, Mom? Richard's a liar. Are you all right, Laisha? You seem- Quit pretending. Come now, Laisha. What's wrong? You've been pretending to see Halsey since the very beginning. Why did you lie to me? Lie to you? I didn't lie to you. Halsey is part of you, and I accept you just the way you are. That's all. You don't need to play games. You're my prince. Whatever you asked of me, I would have obeyed. You don't need to manipulate me. You're right. I didn't want to take her from you. Hallucinations, premonitions, these visions are part of you. So, uh, Halsey, you're calling her a vision? I don't think Halsey is putting anyone in danger, especially not you. I don't think anybody should tell you to change who you are. No, nobody. That's for sure. And I'm surely the only person that believes that. Have no doubt. I don't know. You don't trust me. I think I'm a little confused. Mom? I don't understand. Why are you saying that? Listen. I'm sure you weren't expecting it. I would have rather spared you all of this. But Richard is convinced you're better off without Halsey. Yes, he told me that. He told me that if Halsey stayed, I'd have even more visions. That's true, as far as I can tell. And that I'd end up unable to tell what's real from what's imaginary. He's even provided me with a treatment. Oh. Well. It's up to you to decide if you want to take it, of course. But before you make up your mind, I... We need your help. Our family is in danger, Leisha. Uh, I, I don't know if I can. I don't really feel like... The Second Inquisition is here. You saw them yourself. Mom? Mom, I'm tired. This isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Please? I'm tired too, Sugar Fangs. You need to help us. Obviously. But what exactly do you want me to do this time? An impression, an opinion about what's going on. A premonition, basically. Don't take it like that. Others are less scrupulous than I, believe me. What are you talking about? Richard, for one who has manipulated your memory multiple times. What? Ask him about it. Just know that there are far worse than me creeping around you, Leisha. Mom? It's not as simple as that. I don't choose when they happen. Mom! Mom, listen to me! Yes, sweetie. What is it? There's no point. The swan will lose its head in two days. I just saw it. We know, Mom. What's going on? Leisha, is Halsey speaking to you? 
What is she saying? Halsey sees a swan. It'll lose its head in two days. But that could mean a lot of things. It's not very clear, you mean? Nothing's ever certain, and... Of course. There's... There's got to be a way to... Shuffle things. There must. Not after everything I've done. I won't believe it. Hazel, I... Please leave. I need to think. As you wish. <sighs> Damn it. I don't know who to believe anymore. Richard or Hazel? Please, Mom. I'll be a good girl, I promise. You don't exist. You're just in my head. Please don't leave me. Let me stay with you, Mom. No, Richard is right. I need to get better. Damn it. That hallway again. And my memory loss. Halsey. Oh, shit. I have to find Richard at the Red Salon. He's gonna have to explain this.
put him in there. Gently. We'll deal with him tomorrow. Delson wasn't wrong. Now, how to find Stanford? There's something flashing under their skin. That's not very discreet. This is what happens to mortals who step out of line. I've never seen a machine like that. A slot for what would appear to be a small card. A slot for what would appear to be a small card. That's not very discreet. Clearance implant required. Mm -hmm. Digital security. Clever. That's not very discreet. This is what happens to mortals who step out of line. This implant could be useful. It's a perfect fit. Let's see how it works. <clears throat> there, I've got an implant, but it's blinking. Clearance implant required. That doesn't work on corpses. I can fix that. They don't know everything about us yet. In 1870, Long Island was a hospital for chronically ill patients. What did they use it for now? A closet. Hmm, disappointing. They haven't been used for years. How strange. This looks like an implant scanner. They don't appear to use this area. Higher clearance required. Restricted access. Interesting. The destruction of the Long Island Bridge didn't discourage everyone. Hey, who are you? You shouldn't be on this floor. Identify yourself immediately, 
or I'm calling security. It's entirely normal for me to be here. You have nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little stressed out. Usually the men in suits stay downstairs. But you seem different. In a good way. Not like those Vatican guys, but I shouldn't say anything. Is there a problem with them? Let's just say I thought we had tough standards, but the Society of St. Leopold has proven me wrong. Before they came here and changed everything, it was actually pretty simple. What do you mean? Now there are tons more clearance levels. They're really proud of that downstairs. But the truth is, there are tons of errors all the time, and everyone has to update their implants constantly. Is that why mine doesn't work on the closet? Is that the first time it's happened to you? Unbelievable! What do I need to do? Just like everyone else, we're following procedure. My question isn't about the protocol, but what you can do to help a colleague in need. Yeah, I get it. I've got a bunch of green implants in the safe in my office. The code is 423. You can take one, but you have to remember to bring it back. Can you remind me how it works? Go to any implant machine. It's really easy. There are instructions if you need them. Thank you. Of course. Scalpel. Their equipment is in perfect condition. Where did I put that file? the implants. Blue implants. I have one already. No red implants. <sighs> They're reserved for the Society of St. Leopold. your weapon and let me through. On your knees, I said! Now! He resisted. How?
When Stanford learns that his colleague was held up, he'll want to know who was responsible for it. There will be consequences to pay. Stanford! Scan your implant. Are we all right? Yeah. Next time, let me know. That was close. I'll have to be careful. It's much larger than I thought. Damn! Unbelievable! Fucking implants! Yeah, it's me again. I can't get into anything. I'm telling you, the database is locked. If I keep it up, I'll block the entire system. We need to collaborate. Sorry, I don't see what else. An implant database? If it were unlocked, I could locate Stanford. But I would need a red implant to do that. One from the Society of St. Leopold. What do these symbols mean? Oh, what now? Please, the door won't open. I thought your test was over. Yeah, but you have to put everything back the way it was. Otherwise, the security blocks everything. I'll take care of it, but I have to finish this first. <laughs> Very practical. That's why we do our tests in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. If you're in a hurry, you can take a look. Uh, I'll wait. A blast door. This base must have been used during the Cold War. It could take a while. That changed the number that's displayed. That's more like it. That doesn't do anything. Hold that! No, nothing. I'm getting tired. Ugh. Different laboratory wings. All that for nothing. Can I help you? What's the problem with the door? There's no problem. We're running tests on the electrical system. It's gonna stay locked until I adjust the settings. But I'm working on something I'd rather not drop, so it'll have to wait.
Are you going to wait until there are ten people waiting in here to finish tightening your screw? It's slightly more complicated than that. Save it for your report to Monsignor Stanford. I'm sure he'll be curious to know why I'm late. Stanford? Oh, there's no need to get upset. I'll take care of it. Oh. Is that it? There we go. It wasn't that complicated. There we go. Finally. I hope I find something in the archives, but I doubt I will. When you're done with that, get started on cleaning the last tank. Very well. Gallagher's not gonna like this. She has a red implant that could help me find Stanford. Good. Huh. Rather effective. Yes. That should shut a lot of them up. Who developed this amazing weapon? No, not her. There's no way. Pyrolysis protocol. Paralysis complete. Nothing. It appears the power is out. It appears as if acid has eaten through this cable. That needs to go right to the control panel. Higher clearance required. Wrong implant? I hope the implant is intact. It doesn't look damaged. I have a red implant. Will it? A book about the Society of St. Leopold. Burned to a crisp. I won't get anything out of it, unfortunately. From the looks of it, their prototypes appear to be quite effective already. Higher clearance required. Having the implant in my pocket won't work.
What? What do you want? My time is precious, and I've got a boss breathing down my neck. So if you have no business here, either leave, or I'll call your friends to drag you out of here. I'm doing an inspection. Oh, should I call you Inspector, then? There's nothing to investigate here. We're working. Something you might not be familiar with. Now, get out of my way. We're all on the same team here. We're not going to get anywhere by tripping each other up. You're right. I get carried away. Sorry. I'm really under pressure right now. The problem with the tanks? You know about that? Yeah, that, and everything else. There aren't enough of us to keep it all running and keep up the pace. Well, I'll be getting back to work now. Can you open this door for me? The warehouse? Why? Open the door. Now. I... Very well. Acids. Thermite. Liquid nitrogen. Nice collection. I need to see you there. Yes, of course. The elevator just came down. Ah! The implant was deactivated. I need to be careful. That's the key to my cover. Welcome, novice Gallagher. Very well. Let's see what I have access to now. Shit. Wrong implant. GPS location is still unavailable. I'll have to find Stanford another way. There he is! Take him downstairs! Today is September 6th, 2019. This is confession number six. 
conducted by Father Walter Stanford. I'm being assisted by Agents Hawthorne and Beck from SAD. The blank body was apprehended in our laboratory. I imagine you used one of your little magic tricks on the guards at the entrance to get inside. I don't recommend that you attempt that with me. I must endure this. Very well. Let's get down to the heart of the matter. Begin by identifying yourself. I won't say a word. You disappoint me. I expected more maturity from an old leech like yourself. We know all about you, Galeb, Suleiman, Parasite. They're all just synonyms. Repeat after me, Suleiman. <laughs> Confiteor Deo Omnipotenti. Repeat. Mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. Bear your guilt until your imminent final death. Bear it, and may the Lord have mercy on you. But let's not waste our time on trivial matters. You're a businessman. After all, time is precious to you, even if you have all eternity at your disposition. What do you want? I ask the questions, you answer. Things will be clearer that way. What did you hope to accomplish by coming here? I'm just a scout. We're going to strike. Not just to scare you, to eliminate you. A scout? You're going all in. Believe me, we're ready to greet your friends with all the pomp and circumstance they deserve. Be that as it may, you manage to find us. How? We have eyes everywhere. <laughs> Did you really think we wouldn't notice anything? Impressive. Not to mention the fact that you managed to get in here. That's no small feat for a vampire alone. Were there any lost souls that helped you? You'll never make me talk. This could all be so much more pleasant. It's my fault. I must not have made myself clear enough. I take no pleasure in any of this. You're going to need to be more reasonable now. Let's try something else now. A subject that's especially dear to me. I know there's a place where you believe you are in safety. Since you know where we are, don't you think it's only fair that you tell us where you are? We don't have any place like that anymore. Do you take me for an idiot? You leave me no choice. I'm going to have to purify you. I won't tell you anything. We'll see how long you last. I don't think you understand. Again! <laughs> no, 
Joshua Street. A nice location, which could match some of our intel. I'm intimately acquainted with Boston, you see. I was born here. That's why it's so important to me that we clean it up. We'll verify this information quickly. Very quickly. I have so many more questions to ask. Let's see what I can find out from you. It seems we've caught another who's of greater interest than you. Who? See you soon, Galen. Lewis, over here. Hey, Saul. Took you long enough. Thanks for getting back to me. I wasn't sure you'd kept the pager. You owe me one. So, is it true? Are they really here? Yes. Ugh. I warned Thane like you asked me to. He's waiting for you. What kind of mood is he in? Worried, suspicious. Expect to be put through the grinder. We'll see about that. Any advice? Depends on what you want with him. Just don't forget that you're not welcome here. Thanks, Saul. I feel much better now. I want to see him. Wait for me here. Randall! Okay, you can go in. Mr. Thane, thank you for agreeing to see me. I've seen worse. You'll need to do better than that if you hope to intimidate me. That's what they all say. Saul told me about the SI. I got the message. Iverson didn't need to send one of her lackeys after me. That's not why Hazel sent me. Then why are you here? To... ask for your help. The SI in Boston. Nobody saw it coming, and it's a real threat. But Hazel has a plan to get us out of this mess. Us? Since when is there an us? The prince has got her back up against a wall. She's willing to make a few concessions in order to get us out of this. Like negotiating with you, for example. She's completely overwhelmed, you mean? That's one take on things. Keep going. 
We managed to pick up their trail from International Place. We know where they're hiding. They've got a base here? Yeah, on Long Island. They're more prepared than we thought. <laughs> Underestimating adversaries is your defining trait. It's worse than anything we could have imagined. When you take into consideration what happened in Vienna? In London? Not many survived. It's gonna be a bloodbath for sure. But Hazel's the only one who can still keep that from happening. As arrogant as ever. At least she's got ideas. Not everyone can say the same. So what's her brilliant plan? She wants us to cover our tracks. Destroy everything they've got on us to buy us some time. How? By sending someone over there to damage their system. Me, actually. And you agreed. Let's just say it was an opportunity I couldn't refuse. Oh, the Camarilla. <laughs> you are in it deeper than deep. I don't see how your little operation concerns us. I need a diversion. Something big. An assault. You want to use us. I want your help. The court will be there too. Think about it. A joint attack tonight. Just long enough to wipe everything they've got on us. No, it's out of the question. Sir. We didn't leave the cam to better serve the prince. Let Iverson play her own hand. If she wants to throw herself on the pyre, that's her problem. Ceres, tell everyone to come back. We're bringing in the patrols. Okay. Forget Hazel. I'm the one who needs your help. I won't be able to pull this off without you. You chose the wrong side. There's nothing I can do for you. I already gave you my answer. You're free to rethink the choices you've made. And you're free to leave. You're making a huge mistake. God damn it. I warned you. I can't just leave like that. We've got to be able to make him change his mind. I've already done my part. Saul, please. You can't give up on me now. <sighs> damn it, Lewis. Does that mean yes? <sighs> there might be a way. You're gonna have to hustle. Randall called the gang leaders here for reassurance. But they could be useful to you if you manage to convince them. Do you think Thane will change his mind? Uh, their strength in numbers. You're the head of the Coterie, too. They know you. If you talk to them... And then what? I've already risked my neck for you. I get it. All right. Let's say for a second I want to try. Who are they? Ceres and Rafa. She's in charge of the Domain's militia. He heads up a group of hackers. You'll find them inside. If I manage to pull this off, are you with me? That's my condition. I can't go up against Randall alone. It'd be too risky. Thanks. I owe you one. You already do. I'm sentencing her to final death. Damn it. Well, it's a far cry from the glitz and glamour of the court. They really got a good setup here. You shouldn't hang around here.
found him drooling over my vessels. It's unacceptable. Do you really think now is the time for this? They're only here for a few hours, damn it. Relax. No. Either you tell Saul to call off her dogs, or I'll do it. Oh, now you're the one giving me orders. I forbid you to go anywhere near her. Do I make myself clear? That's an order. Dumb bitch. Ugh. How can they live in that? Good. Again. One, two, one, two! <laughs> Control your beast, Effie! One, two, one, two! Yo, what? Sarahs, I need to talk to you. Randall told you to leave. He didn't say when. Oh, you think you're clever. What do you want? We have to talk about the SI. There's nothing more to be said. Randall was perfectly clear. He's making a mistake. The whole city's in danger. Don't waste your breath. I don't listen to the court's underlings. Now get out of here. Ceres, just hear me out. Get out. God damn it. If I want them to back me, I need to find a solution. Hey. I see what you're trying to do. Is that a threat? You're way off. I'm on your side. I want to help. Why would you take that risk? Well, because our survival depends on it. This isn't the first time Cirrus has put us in danger. And what do you suggest? An exchange of mutual benefit. Do you know why Cirrus disagrees with your plan? Out of loyalty, I guess. No, that's part of it, for sure, but that's not all. It's because of the Crimson Oaks. I've heard of them. I remember those guys. Hazel hated them. There was a time she fought with them. I thought they disappeared. Their leaders fled after the fall of London. Most of them followed, but others stayed behind and went underground. I see, but... What's the connection with Ceres? <laughs> she works for them, and she seems to be pretty attached to their agreement. What kind of agreement is it? What do you do for them? I don't do anything. Ceres deals with that. As far as I understand, she runs logistics for them. She rents boats, houses. I don't know what they're up to, but it seems big. If Sarah's works for them, that would explain why she won't help Hazel. Yeah, but I got a plan for that. It won't be pretty, but it'll be good for the both of us. You in? No. Not without knowing what I'm getting myself into. Hey, trust has to be earned. That goes both ways. Suit yourself, but you're wasting your time. Sirius won't change your mind. Come and see me when you're desperate. Yeah, right. The door is closed. There's no way to open it from this side. Look who's back. I know you missed me. I'll be going now. Hmm.
Excuse me. Get out of here. Is there a problem? You've got no business here. Go back to crawling around at Iverson's feet. Mm. Stay calm, girl. This is a waste of my time. Are you lost? The exit's the other way. I'm taking a look around. Just mind your business. Come on, man. I haven't had time to go hunting, and I'm on duty tonight. I don't give a shit. You should have eaten earlier. But I promise I won't damage her. Yardley will never know. Please, I need this. Oh. I warned you. Next time, it won't be your balls getting popped. It'll be your head. Shit! Fucking thin blood. Hey. Not now. I just need a little blood. Well, Blue's have sure changed around here since last time. Dane's made himself at home. Seems like the Baron is becoming more influential. Wait a few years, and he'll have built himself a throne room. <laughs> Bad timing. I'm not in the mood. Is your machine acting up? My computer's fine. It's the network that's on the fritz. What a shithole. What the hell are you still doing here? I was told I could stay. Who told you that? Does they know? I wouldn't be here if he didn't. It's not like him to fraternize with the enemy. Are you challenging his decision? No. What do you want? You might be able to help me. I'm looking for your leader. Do you know where he is? What do I look like? His sire? Find him yourself. I bet you know everyone around here. Including Saris. What can you tell me about her? Go talk to Mr. Asshat. He'll know more than me. Who? Saris is second. Yardley. You'll find him near the train car. I'm out of here. Hmm. <laughs> Best news I've heard all night. Sorry, I don't really want to talk right now, especially not with a check from the camp. Are you sure you're all right? No, I don't want to talk about it. It's personal. I came to help, and I could help you too. I'm a good listener. You can tell me anything. No, I don't know you. Suit yourself. All right. I'll be going now. Yeah. Seriously? Oh, it's always the same with every game. You're overreacting. Poker, you win. I Jim always Rubby, liked this you game. win. Crazy Eights, for you the win. Flush. I'm good at I've cards. I've played my share of high rollers. I don't know why I even try. I know I'm gonna lose. You should talk to your shrink about it. Hey, you're the one with the clubs in town, right? Nice. Come on. I gotta get out of here. 
I need help if I want to survive on Long Island. Saul takes us to your club sometimes. They're all right. Should have left two hours ago. What are we waiting for? For Thane to change his plans. Another what they just hour told or two. Is big news. Until then, I'm stay cool. Around here forever. Saris and her bunch are on You'll edge do tonight. What I don't want any trouble. Do. Got it? Yeah. If you don't like it, you can go drown yourself in the bay. We can't drown. You know that, right? We can forget about downtown. The coast, maybe. Ah, still in one piece. I'm impressed. Your friends might hate me, but they're afraid of Hazel. They wouldn't dare touch a hair on my head. It's not just Hazel. Everyone knows the Black Rattler's Rose. So, what do you think? Must be a hell of a change from all those tight asses at court, huh? Honestly, I have no idea. I thought I knew you. But it turns out I've just been scratching the surface. Welcome to the jungle, sis. You know, your message earlier. Uh, at the time, I really thought you wanted to take the plunge that you were going to join us. <laughs> Got your hopes up. I'm a little disappointed. I think you have your place here. You should think about it. Not tonight. I know. But if you have any questions, let me know. I need to know more about Rafa. Can you help me out? Mm, not really. Sorry. He keeps a low profile. You must know something. Nothing you don't know already. He's a hacker. He's the head of a group of hackers. That's pretty much it. That's nothing. I warned you. His henchmen would be able to tell you more than me. I'm leaving. I'm counting on you, Lewis. The docks will always remind me of when we fled France. More curve and now the from assignment the trajectory. forced us to flee again. Ozzy, you... Not now, okay? What? You're not interested? No. Mm, suit yourself. You'll be sorry that you didn't listen to me. Sure. Sure. Rafa? Rafa? Are you Rafa? What do you want with him? I need to see him. Why? S.I. Ring a bell? Tell me where I can find him. You're gonna have to wait. Rafa's out of town. What do you mean, out of town? Where is he? Um, not here. Great. Who's in charge here, then? Does he have a second-in-command? Yeah, me. But I have nothing to say to you. Let me at least explain. Ah, I don't want to hear it. I have my orders. I'm sticking to them. But the court... Not my problem. Fantastic. Thanks. Was there... anything else? Or are we done here? Rafa, what can you tell me about him? Mm, nothing. There's nothing you need to know. A little paranoid, are we? You can trust me. I don't have any ulterior motive. You work for Iverson. I work for myself. I'm just curious, that's all. All right? I'll answer one question. What do you want to know?
Thane told you about the Second Inquisition, right? Is that why you're here? Yes. So you know that the situation is serious? Yeah, but I, I don't see what that has to do with... And Rafa, for some reason, isn't here. That's a little curious, isn't it? Uh... No. He's got the right to do whatever he wants. In the middle of a crisis? That's pretty negligent of him. Mind your own business. I answered your question. Now fuck off. Wires and fuses. I should be able to do something with that. Wires and fuses. I should be able to do something with that. The ladder's stuck. Can't climb up. What a headache. There we go. That's not like it. And with a little fiddling, I've got access to the crane. Here we go. It wasn't that hard. Wow. I wasn't expecting that.
scary. What the heck is that? Interesting. Caius has got himself some competition. These guys are pros. It looks like a lock. trouble to hide this place. That's an old one. Look at this old thing. It's almost as old as I am. His suit has seen better days. I feel like I've seen this symbol before. Sire? I thought she just had Miley. She never mentioned another child. I wonder what they use all these cameras for. Spy gear. Maybe I can reset it. Should have known. I'd heard that the prince's bitch was sniffing around here. How did you get in? Through the front door. How banal. I'll come up with something better next time. You must be M.M. Lewis. 
Tell me, why shouldn't I just put an end to you right now? If you destroy me, you'll never know what brought me here. I know why. You want my head. So I might as well cut yours off first. You're... No. That's ridiculous. I'm just here about the Alliance. What? Saul told me I should come see you. She thinks you could help us. Don't tell me she agrees with your shitty plan. How do you... I got a detailed report about your little crisis meeting. Thane was right to refuse to cooperate. It'd be a huge mistake. It will be if you don't help us. We're not allies. Never have been, never will be. So why should we risk our asses to save yours? You do realize that this problem isn't just about the cam. We've learned to make ourselves scarce. Scarce? You're hiding out on a fucking barge! How long do you think it will take before they come for you? We'll be gone before that can happen. Where? They'll hunt you down like they did in London. I'm sorry, but we're all in this together. Like it or not. Maybe. Anyways, the old bat is wrong. London? Vienna? We've seen what they can do. You're no match for them. You don't stand a chance. Oh, maybe you've got a better plan. Yes. To do nothing. If we keep our heads down, the SI will forget about us sooner or later. But going underground is pointless. They know we're here. They'll plow through this town with a fine tooth comb, and they'll exterminate you. You don't know that. It's going to be tough for sure. But it's not impossible if we unite our forces. I know that we're complete opposites. But it's just for tonight. With you. The humans won't stand a chance. A lot of times there's a gap between the stats and reality, Lewis. Especially since we have no idea how many of them there really are. We're kindred, damn it. Just one of us is worth five of theirs. We'll crush them. One to five. Mm. It could work. Listen, even if you're right, even if all of that were true, I couldn't help you. I can't. Why not? What's stopping you? You wouldn't understand. Explain. You should know, since you went through my cabin. Hazel. There you go. Hazel. She doesn't know I'm still here. And if she were to find out, well, you get the picture. I've been working for years to make sure it doesn't happen. It was complicated enough before, but it's even harder now that she's Prince. My existence is at stake, Lewis, and I'm not going to sacrifice myself for your alliance. You're the leader of your group. Going after you means going after the Anarchs. Hazel doesn't need that. She's got enough to deal with rooting out all the snakes in the camp. Yeah, but I'm not the Baron. You're still an important leader. I am not okay with the idea of using the movement as a shield. For fuck's sake, Rafa! This is an emergency. Do I need to paint you a picture? No, I get it. I'm going to set my principles aside. Just this once. I got your message. You can count on me to try to clean up your prince's mess. Thanks, Rafa. I'm not doing it for you. I know. But thanks anyways. We've got to get ready. 
I'll give the others a heads up and tell them to let you in. Great. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into, Lewis. We won't forget you. I've got to get ready. I'll meet up with you later. But that's the last time you break in here. Got it? Got it. I did it! Rafa is with me. And I still have a shot with the other group. Things are going better than I thought they would. where these tunnels could lead. He looks like a junkie. From the position of the body, I'd say he fell off the ladder. What was he doing here, trying to escape? The roads will start to freeze over soon.
What the hell is this? Hey! What? I didn't do anything! It wasn't me! Don't hurt me! What did they do? Huh? What? Um... I want to sleep. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder. He's totally high. Twinkle, twinkle. Vomit. How delightful. <sighs> There's something else. The stench. He must have been rotting here for a few days. And the vomit doesn't help. help you with Saris. Is that so? All right. Listen up. I've got dirt on Saris. Bank accounts. The kind of stuff that's shady enough to get her kicked out of the coterie for good. Let me guess. Your files prove she's skimming money off the top. Am I right? Bingo. And is it true? That's not important. You couldn't find anything to blame her for, could you? I've got tons of things to blame her for. But nothing blaring your guilty. All that matters is getting rid of her. If Saris is out, then I'll replace her. And I'll help you. How long have you been sitting on these papers? I've been preparing all of this for a couple of months. I was just waiting for the right time to make my move. You're using me. I'm trying to help you. What are you planning to do with your little papers? I can't just whip them out like that. Somebody's got to find them. And for that to happen, I need you to help me plant them somewhere. Where? In Saris's personal safe. It's in a secure room. Yeah, you'll need this pass to get in. Great. Is there a code? 
For the safe, I mean. It's not a code, it's a card. Here, you'll find it upstairs. Any questions? I think that's about it. In that case, I'll arrange to get you access to upstairs. Here, take the files. Come back when you've got some news. I'm counting on you. I don't think I have any other choice. I wonder what else he's hiding. What now? I've got something to tell you that you're not gonna like. What? It has to do with your second. Yardley? What's the problem? He wants you out of the picture. Uh, excuse me? He knows you won't help us against the SI. He offered to help me. In exchange for your head. No way. Do you have any proof to back up your claim? He asked me to plant some forged documents in your safe. I didn't do it. I've got them with me if you want to see them. That won't be necessary. Ugh, Yardley. I knew he was up to something. But for him to use you against me, he sunk to a new level. That's all I know. I guess I should thank you. You owe me more than that. I saved your ass. I want you to talk to Thane and defend Hazel's offer. I knew it. You might be onto something. But what's in it for me? What do you have in mind? More than just a fistful of greenbacks. What can you offer me? You could have a new sector. Oh, really? Which neighborhood? I can't promise you downtown, but what about Jamaica Plain? Nah, the neighborhood's got nothing to offer. That's not enough. It's gotta be two neighborhoods or nothing. All right. What do you think about Roxbury? The cam is way too present there. What's your game? This is your first time, isn't it? What? Negotiating? No. Fighting. I've spent my life doing it. So you should know that you rarely win without sacrificing something. How many people will be destroyed tonight, if I agree to help you? How many of your friends? Are you ready to bear that burden? Whether or not I'm able to convince you to help me, I'll have blood on my hands. And you accept that? I didn't really have a choice. That's what I thought. You're not here because you believe in this fight. You're just following orders, that's all. And you want us to line up behind you. <laughs> that's enough. There's no point in insisting. What? No. Saris, I need you. So does Randall. Listen, thanks for your help with Yardley, but our partnership ends here. I should have let him finish you. Too late for that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to have a few words with my second. Well, at least I've got Rafa. It's better than nothing. Get out of here. We don't need these. Is there losers. a problem? I'm gonna go it alone. Are you sure? You know, all of Boston hangs in the balance. It's worth a little extra insisting, isn't it? 
Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Such unbridled enthusiasm. Come on, you can do this. Is there a problem? I was able to talk to Rafa. And? He was suspicious at first, but he came to understand the severity of the situation. He's agreed to help us. Well done. Rafa's a little rough around the edges, but he's a good leader. You did the right thing. Were you able to bring up our plans to Cirrus? Yes, but she refuses to help us. Shit! Her second offered to help, but it felt too shady. I thought it best to refuse his offer. I hope you won't regret it. So, what do you say we go see Thane? I think it's high time we did. All right. I'm right behind you. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Ready? Do I really want to do this? Then again, it's either me or them. Forgive me. Yes, let's go. Behind my back? Yes, and now you can't go back. It's too late. You. Ceres thinks we should join you. Rafa does too. You turned them all against me. It was either that or say goodbye to the attack. I couldn't give up. You're sending them to their doom. I'm giving us a chance. <sighs> to disappear for good? You have no idea what that means. You're not ready. We're leaving for Long Island, together. Saul and Rafa will meet up with Hazel there. I'll wait until they launch their coordinated attack to infiltrate the base. You're destroying this cell. Get out of here! I don't want to see you again. I get the feeling I've been here before. Sorry, we're closed. Olacia, I'm so sorry, I, I didn't recognize you. I have to see Richard. It's kind of a bad time. There, there's a code red and... I know. Still in the basement. I need you to take care of it when you're finished here. No problem. And if you see White. So you tell us that the SI has the address of this salon, and you come anyway. Beryl, you shouldn't be here. They could show up at any time. I know that. Why are you here?
Why are you here? Same as you, taking care of business. I suppose no one's volunteering to stick around here. That's right, especially not me. If you see Wyatt, tell him to come downstairs to help me. It's an urgent request. Wyatt? Yes, a thin blood who works for me. He must be helping the staff. There's a lot of stuff here that could give the SI much more than just this bar. There'd be no point in running if they could track us down. Yes, of course. And if you see Richard, could you... I'll let him know you're looking for him, as usual. Did you destroy the client files? Yes, it's done. Accounting? Uh, yeah. It's all taken care of. I've just got the suppliers and the VIP files left to do. All right. I'm gonna need a badge for the basement, too. Mm, I don't have one, sorry. We're not open for customers. We're closed. I'm not here to imbibe. I'm looking for Richard. Have you seen him? Yeah, he gave orders to the staff. And then he went to the rotunda in the back. Is there someone named Wyatt here? Yeah, but he's transferring the kind right now. He shouldn't be long. All right. I have to cover our tracks as much as possible. Understand? So, what do we do now? How the hell should I know? We could break down the door to get her out. We don't have the equipment for that. I could ask Dr. Dunham if... No way. We'll figure something out. When is Wyatt supposed to be back? He shouldn't be long now. If what Mr. Dunham says is true, we've got to get out of here fast. But we can't let them get their hands on such a priceless vessel. Do you think this business about the SI is true? Are they really coming here? All right. Go to the front. When Wyatt gets here, tell him to be ready. I'll huh. see what I can do. Music. Roger that. To relax the vessels. Oh, Leisha. I didn't expect to see you here. It seems like you know who I am, but I don't remember meeting you. Yeah, it's not the first time that that's happened to you. So I came here often? Oh yeah, but it's been going on three years since I saw you last. My name's Betty. I manage the salon for Dr. Dunham. Sort of. Is there a problem? Why aren't you leaving? It's just that Dr. Dunham asked me to evacuate the kind, but I'm never gonna be able to do it. A highly valuable donor has holed herself up in there. But why it's supposed to take her and the others? You said that Wyatt was dealing with the vessels? I need to talk to him. Do you know where he is? He's been running back and forth to get the kind to safety. I've got to get this damn vessel out before he's done. Do you know where Dr. Dunham went? He must be doing the same thing we're doing. Getting rid of anything we don't want the SI to get their hands on. Like what, exactly? He told us to destroy the Trajax compounds, so he must be getting rid of his stuff. What are those compounds you mentioned? It's one of the doctor's inventions, a stimulant for the donors. The blood is way better with it. Everybody loves it. Do you have any idea where the doctor might have started? Oh, he leaves his stuff laying around everywhere, you know. But most of it must be in his office. It's on this floor, in the rotunda. Or in his examining room in the basement. Why can't you make the vessel come out? All the commotion has pushed her over the brink. Or maybe she thinks she's being taken to the slaughterhouse? There's no way of knowing. She won't talk to us. What's the slaughterhouse? Oh, that's what the kind call the basement. That's where we take donors that have been drained by clients. 
or donors that have been overused. Mr. Underwood is in charge of that. Oh, he works here now? Yes, he's in charge of the accounting, recycling the vessels. Really anything the doctor isn't interested in doing. And he's very talented, I imagine. Let's say there are a lot of deliveries, but not a lot of money coming in. If you see what I mean. I do. A blue blood. Why don't you force her to come out? I can't. She's locked in the injection room and there's no way to open the door. And I'm not allowed to damage her. She's a vintage. I can sense that you disagree. No, I do what I'm told, that's all. But the SI had better not get their hands on her. Can you help me? She might listen to you. I'd heard there was a lot of compromising stuff on us here. So I'll see what I can do. Yeah, go ahead and clean up anything we forgot and... Yeah, I get it, Betty. I'll do it if I can, okay? Fine, all right. There's a pass on the bar that'll give you staff clearance. You're gonna need it. Thanks. Betty was right. The vessel locked herself in. Come on! You've got to get out of there. We've wasted enough time already. Is... is that you, Betty? No. It's Laisha. Get out of here! Look, I can tell you're scared, but I can help. I don't know who to believe anymore. They're all out to get me. I know they want to kill me. Who are you talking about? Them. The masters. And even those locked up in here with me. They all want me dead. No, quite the contrary. They want to keep you safe. If you stay here, you could die. I don't believe them anymore. They're gonna promise me tragics to get me to leave, but they'll give me poison instead. That's not true. I won't open the door. Leave me alone! That must be how they supply the Trajacks into the injection room. Huh. There's gotta be something that will make her come out. Come on. Come out of there now. No, you're going to hurt me! Richard's grand idea. Injecting substances to simulate the vessel's humors. No, that's not for me. Empty vessels. 
He must be using them for something. Apparently the pressure's right. You almost feel like this is a rat hideout here. But it's a discreet entrance. That's of no use to me right now. Richard's injections. He doesn't want the wrong people to find them. I've been here before. I'm sure of it.
That reminds me of... clouds. Alright, it's a total mess. Juliet. That name. Why... why does that remind me of something? Hmm. Huh. But Richard says that madness isn't an illness. Richard must not be far. October 28, 2001. Patients 211 and 26. October 28, 2001. Patients 211 and 216 exhibited the first signs of intense resonance increase. Both singlins went from low resonance to a level never before achieved. <laughs> what a flavor. I must admit that even I find it hard to resist. Unfortunately, patient 211 suffered the consequences. I will continue exploring further in this direction. I feel that I am getting closer to the goal.
A second layer of security. goes back a ways. I've got a feeling of deja vu. Like I know this story. I've heard the name Marie before. But where? Richard is no longer in the test tube phase, it would seem. Wait! Uh, what the? Wait! Come back! True. She's not real. It's all in my head. If she wasn't real, that man wouldn't have seen her. No, not you. You don't exist either. If they hadn't seen her, they wouldn't have shot at her. You disappeared! I was doing better! Laisha, look at me. You're fine. But you have to find what you lost. No! I won't listen to you. I didn't lose anything. Huh. Richard has scrambled your brain so much that you don't even remember. What are you talking about? Who you really are, of course. I know who I am. Are you sure? If that's true? Then tell me, who are you looking for? You're not real. Richard spent years making you disappear. I shouldn't listen to you. No, don't do that. Don't change the subject. Ugh! 
You're confusing me. I don't understand a word of what you're saying. There's no point in trying to force my hand. I'm you. It's useless. You're like a jigsaw puzzle that's been broken into a thousand scattered pieces. If you don't take the time to piece yourself back together, the rest is pointless. But I don't have time! You don't have a choice. Take the time you need. Please, give yourself a chance. You're worth it. Even if I wanted to, I, I wouldn't know where to start. I can help you. Let's start from the beginning. Try to remember. What's your name? Uh, I'm... I'm not sure. Go on. Don't be scared. Is my name... Juliet? No, but you're getting closer. You're not Juliet. That's enough! Stop! I get the feeling that... No. You're not able to remember. I told you that I don't have time for this! Richard erased your memories. Everything that's happened to you and your daughter is his fault. Has always been his fault. Find her. You'll see. I have to save Halsey! Let me go! It's... it's happening again. No, I can't be seen in this form here. Shit, damn it! What the hell was that? Shit. Not Cassie. Stay calm. She had no choice. Shit, no! Fuck your protocol! Fuck those fucking monsters, too! Listen to me, damn it! She just saved all our asses. She blew herself up to protect us. Yeah, but. Calm the fuck down! You would have done it, too. Any one of us would. Cassie. Shit. It's Richard. Halsey, where are they taking her? What the fuck is that? Steam. The pressure must that have steam gone leak. Of the explosion. Maybe that could help. God, fucking hot! Be careful without your helmet on. I can't see a damn thing with all this fog. It's all right. It stopped now.
starting again. Watch out. Not enough yet. It's starting again. Watch out. Not enough yet. Starting again. Watch out. Not enough yet. It's starting again. Watch out. Not it's enough starting yet. Again. Watch out. Not enough yet. It's starting again. Watch out. Not enough yet. I need to go to the loading dock. We have to assess whether this structure will hold after the explosion. Oh well. All right, but we still have a process to follow. I need to record you leaving the area. Okay. Here. What the... shit? Where am I? I'm free? But how? Halsey! I have to find her.
seen in this form here. Olsen was as white as a sheet. The kid did that to Halpert, even through his helmet. What a monster. They were right to take her down to a lab. Yeah. If you could find a medic for San Diego. All right. I'll see if someone can come check him out. there was a terrible idea. They wouldn't give up. Huh. They tracked him for a long time. Without giving up. Help from Europe. These bastards are everywhere. Sold us out. Saint Leopold. They will burn. They asked Europe for help. They had time to plan it all. The bastard who sold us out sure did a solid job. souvenirs of the carnage. Oh, they deserve to die too. Not enough ink. After the assignment, a crisis to manage. We're barely treading water here. How am I gonna sort this? I need a file number if I want access.
Hey, you can't go in there. This room is off limits to everyone but officers. Then why are you allowed to be here? I'm in charge of filing everything about the girl before we ship her out. Huh. Out of curiosity, do you know where they put her? No, I just put things away. I don't read the reports. It's above my pay grade. Come on, get a move on. What happened here? They supervised Operation Burrow from here. It ended in crisis management. But I told you, you don't have clearance to know any more than that. Okay, fine. Halsey's room. Sweetie. Oh, how could Richard have left you in there? That's not going to make things easy for me. Huh. They're afraid I'll come looking for her. Reports about the op on one side. I gotta make sure I don't mix things up. blowing themselves up. That's good news for us. I wonder why. Nobody's allowed in. Sorry. Follow me. It will take a minute. Yes. could do something like that. That's not standard procedure. I'm sure to be detected. I need to change my appearance. That looks like a map of this area. An 
illusion. Who could have done that here? Richard. You shouldn't be here. Leave, now! My daughter exists. You lied to me. And even worse, you let them bring her here. My daughter. Listen, now is neither the time nor the place Stop to- Stop it! Enough! I don't give a shit about where we are, how dangerous it is, or anything else. You stole Halsey from me! You made me forget everything! Why did you do it? I did it to protect both of you, of course! You caused too much of a stir within the court because of your gifts. They're both your strength and your greatest weakness. No! That's not gonna work anymore, Richard! Ugh, your excuses that only you alone understand. Oh, what danger could have been so great that you felt like you had to separate us, lie to us, and manipulate us like you did? It... it's because of the prince! She called for Halsey's head about three years ago. She said she was a dangerous liability, and she probably wanted to put me in my place. She ordered me to do it, but I couldn't. I had to make everyone believe I'd destroy her, for both your sakes. Believe it or not, I've always been helping you. Just a few minutes ago, you were there, prisoner. And I rescued you, as always. <laughs> it's become a tradition. What about Halsey? What did you tell her? That... that you had been destroyed. I had no other choice. I had to find a way to keep her safe, and stop her from looking for you. When you talk about safety, do you mean hers? Or yours? All of yours? Well... <laughs> both, actually. But do you realize the harm you caused her? Laisha, these feelings you both have, that twisted vestige of your humanity, it's your illness. It's what I've been trying to treat for all these years. I never asked you to do that. I trusted you, and you tricked us. You let those mortals bring her here, and that... It's the Second Inquisition, Leisha. I'm here on the Prince's orders. My assignment concerns everyone. We have to fight them. Halsey can't be our priority. The fate of the Boston Camarilla, and your fate as well, is at stake here. And you're the one who's supposed to save us? I can sense your anger, but don't make a mistake. We'll all regret. Hazel believes I'm our last hope to defeat the SI and protect the Masquerade. Your thirst for vengeance would lead to your doom and Halsey's. Is that all? I sense that you're afraid of me. You're right to be afraid. Yes, but I'm even more afraid of the SI and you should be too. If you're the reason our plan should fail, you'll both pay the price. Just think. I don't want to listen to you anymore. It's over. So be it. I won't let anybody tell me what to do anymore. <laughs> <laughs>
You must know where Halsey is. <sighs> no regrets. No remorse. I think I've aced your last lesson, Richard. I'll make them pay for what they've done to us all. Infamous bitch to whom I'm bound, like the convict to his chain. Submissive and blind. <laughs> Just like a mortal. Shit. They were going to torture her. Agent, Emmett Olson. It is 07 a.m. on September 6, 2019. I'm now proceeding with the interrogation. Wait, Agent Olson. What now? Halbert, he doesn't look too good. September 6, 2019. 048 a.m. The subject has surpassed my expectations. Although childlike in appearance and neutralized, she demonstrates Incredible telepathic abilities. Monsignor ordered that she be weakened before her transfer to the Vatican. We will leave her in a high security container in Lab L 04 in Basement 4, in the hope that my hypothesis is correct and she will gradually. I'm sure to be detected. I need to change my appearance. I need to find where they took Halsey first. What level could they have gone to? Agent Emmett Olson. It is 07 a.m. on September 6, 2019. I'm now proceeding. I have to change my appearance to go any further. I need to find where they took Halsey first. What level could they have gone to? There's nothing in the naming system. I knew it. I need to find where they took Halsey first. What level could they have gone to? Agent Emmett Olson. It is 07 a.m. on September 6, 2019. I'm now proceeding with the interrogation. Wait, Agent Olson. What now? Halbert. He doesn't look too good. September 6, 2019, 048 AM. The subject has surpassed my expectations. Although childlike in appearance and neutralized, she demonstrates incredible telepathic abilities. Monsignor ordered that she be weakened before her transfer to the Vatican. We will leave her in a high security container in Lab L-04 in Basement 4, in the hope that my hypothesis is correct and she will gradually lose her ability to cause harm. Lab L-04, basement four. Finally. Hang on, sweetheart. I'm coming.
Hang in there, city. I'm on my way. Come on, Amen. You get in there, find a computer to upload that virus to, and get out. You got this! Looks like a badge reader. It doesn't seem to work. I... It's... Enormous. Come on, Lewis. Get a hold of yourself. barely make it out. Lewis, it's Saul. We're here. But I don't see Iverson. Where the hell is she? I thought she was supposed to get here first. She should be there soon. She'd better. I'm sorry, Saul. An electronic lock. With a code. Rafa could help me unlock it. Rafa, are you there? What do you want? There's some kind of lock that's stopping me. A big box with buttons. Looks electronic. Any ideas? <sighs> there should be a ring on it. See it? Push a little piece of metal under it. It's an old system. These things are easy to short circuit. Anything else? That should do it. Thanks. Over. Piece of metal.
Looks like it works with the chip. I can't open it. Oh well. Be another way. MM. I hear you, Saul. They know we're here. We managed to hide, but we're not gonna hold out long. Where are you? Inside, South Wing, or West. Fuck, I don't know. Where is Iverson? She's on her way. I just radioed her. She's coming. Tell her to move her ass! Administrative section. I should be able to find a computer here to upload the program. Somebody's the down there. Easy. To think a little girl could do something like that. It's unbelievable. Easy does it. Stay behind me. Wasn't a question, Thorpe. I have orders not to leave this office. Then stay here. I could attack so her to get rid of her. Was captured, but she's not Stanford alone. Is interrogating it now. The situation is under control. I could upload the program to this computer. There's no need. I can manage I can't on my do own. anything as long as they're here. here. Ugh, as you wish. Go on, split up. What have we here? Why isn't it working? Shit. I told you I wouldn't be long. Not a word. Thorpe! Jeez! You've... You're one of them, aren't you? A blank body. What do you want? I need to put something on your computer. I tried accessing your network, but it's not working. Why not? I... I don't know. Don't play that game with me. But it's the truth. If you're of no use to me, then there's no point in keeping you alive. What? No! All right! All right! I can help you! Just don't hurt me! I'm listening. Why are you doing this? It's better you didn't know. <sighs> Listen, it's simple. You need to go all the way down to the server room. That's the only way to spread your... thing. Tell me how to get there. You need to take the intelligence elevator and go all the way down to the bottom floor. I've told you everything I know. Can I go now? I'd like to let you live. But you better know how to keep your mouth shut. If you squeal, if you warn the others in any way, I'll track you down and kill you. Do I make myself clear? Yes! I won't say a thing. 
I promise. I'll stay here. I won't budge. All right. Stay away! Please! I can't do anything with that. Damn it. Jara's being held here. And she seems to be giving them some trouble. Uniform. This is Hogan. We've just entered the administration wing. What's your status? Uniform, there go. The intruders are in the main wing. We got two men down. Hurry up! Copy that. November is already on the way. Go, go, go! Stay away, please. I can't do anything with that. Damn it. Juris Doctor, Yale Law School. That reeks of money. Away! How pathetic. Stay calm. She promised. This is a waste of my time.
a high security key, this isn't just for any door. They put that through my heart. They burned me with that. I won't touch it. Science squad, we just escorted Stanford to basement level three. We're on our way up to help. First get out of here, then Stanford. How many others have come here before me? The gate is locked. This is the emergency override to open the cells. I need a high security key. The treasure department is quiet. We didn't find anything. A high security Purple key. Squad continuing our patrol. There's no way to lift it. There's no way to lift it. Good. The cells are unlocked. Oh my god, no! Make just one sound, a single move, and I'll tear out your throat. Please, I don't want to die. Then answer my questions. Who are you? What are you doing here? Sergeant Dern. I I'm in charge of moving the prisoners. Who else are you keeping here? There's a list of who's in them in the next room. Which way's out? There's an exit at the bottom of the stairs. But the SAD's guarding it. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> we'll see about that. Where is Stanford? I don't know. I swear, he left the prison in a hurry. He might be in his office down in basement three. I don't know. Please have mercy. No, I won't get anything else out of her. What are you going to do with me? I can't let you live. This is no time to take risks. Certificate number A745C. Patrol reports. They block out our voices to try to resist us. How clever. Crowbar. Rusted away. Even the SAD has to fill out paperwork. These things belong to Amani. Dejan won't be seeing his child again. An SAD stamp. Luckily, I was able to keep this implant. Ah, my things. But I don't see my clothes. I'll be taking that. Thank you. 
pictures from the reunification party. It appears someone was interested in the members of the Hartford Gentry. The crowbar broke. It's useless now. Anyone heard from Olsen? Stanford doesn't want any more surprises. All right, it's open. Three heavily armed guards. I don't like these odds. Attention, reinforcements needed in wing B-77 immediately. All undesignated agents must leave their stations and head there on the double. That doesn't sound good. That's you guys. Shit. Let's go. Hmm, it's my lucky day. It shouldn't be hard to get rid of just one guard. alone. I might have a chance. There's just one guard left. I could try making my escape. It's a big cell for just one man. What have we here? A lost soul. You should thank your lucky stars you're on the other side of that glass. Why are you staring at me like that? They have a werewolf. That explains the special cell. I know what you are. Dog. Then be very careful, Leech. How did you end up here? By no choice of my own. They must have gone all out. 
Your kind are particularly tenacious. I was hunting in the Blue Hills. They had been tracking me for some time. I was careless. I wouldn't be so quick to chalk it up to imprudence. They were well prepared. I gutted a few of them, but they knew what they were up against. When I get out of here, they'll become prey. There might be a solution. What do you mean? We could come to an agreement. If I free you, you clear the way out, and keep your distance from me. Work together? There are just a handful of guards standing between us and freedom. That shouldn't be too difficult for you. I'd rather take you with me to my grave. You'd rather rot in here? If this Inquisition was able to catch you, they'll be able to round up the other Lupines. And you're different than they are? Unlike them, we don't presently hunt you. You might hate me, but I'm not a threat. I hate to admit it, but you're not wrong. Give me your word. I swear by Gaia that I won't touch a hair on your head for tonight. I can't promise the same for the other leeches. That's not my problem. Hunters are toying with forces that far surpass them. The morgue is overflowing. The bodies need to be taken to the hospital. Make room for them, but don't leave them lying around. Krieger out. Nothing to report in the lab. Feldman out. Huh, they left my clothes here. At least they didn't destroy that.
I'm almost there. The elevator should be around here somewhere. Shit! The elevator! Now I just need to take care of the guard. Bowen, I'm in the hall. No matter what happens, don't leave L4. Roger that. I've got the elevator. Nothing will happen to you. But your men, they're... Just focus on what you're doing. We need to know if our systems have been compromised or not. I I'm working on it. We'll stay in contact. Call me if you have any problems. Roger that. Got everything you need? I should be fine. Just try and stay out of my way. Just following orders. Do you think it will take long? We'll see. Hey. Did you know Charles Nussbaum? Yeah. Why? I heard why he got fired. Is that spy shit true? Was he really found going through Brent's safe? Yeah, that's what they told us. Shit. I'll wait Hold for her to shut up before science. I go after her. Sorry. It's too small for me to read from here. Rowan! Rowan! Oh, shit! No! No, 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 no! Shit! to November. I need backup in F Sector. November to Echo, what's your status? Hostile intruder detected. And Engineer Rowan is dead. It's Secure locked. Area. And that. it's a magnetic lock. I can't pick it. Copy that. You hear that, you son of a bitch? We're gonna roast you like a pig. Come on! Get a move on! I don't have a choice. It's that or nothing. Come on. Saul to watch her back, but she trusted you. You bitch. I was following orders. I didn't Go want. Go fuck yourself. You fucked everything up. Stanford's office is on this floor. 
Hmm. I didn't expect to find something like this here. Hey, a creature of the night. Just kidding. We don't see a lot of agents around here, especially in the middle of the night. I hope every night isn't going to be like this, damn it. Stanford isn't in his office. He can't be far. But how will I find him in this labyrinth? Let's see if there's anything that could help me here. Higher clearance required. Higher clearance required. People travel a lot, but under high surveillance. Hmm, let's see what that opens for me. Great, I changed my clearance level. This must be some sort of implant engraving device. Higher clearance required. Higher clearance required. <sighs> There's nothing I can do. It won't open. I'll be able to locate Stanford with this computer. But which one is he? I've located Stanford. There's no time to waste. I can get to the hospital by taking the elevator. Can I help you? It's all right. Everything is fine. Really? Let's drop this little game. Excuse me. I saw your picture in Monsignor Stanford's office. And yet you don't seem afraid of me. I spent ten years bound to one of your kind. You call that a servant? I call it a slave. You're not from Boston. No, I'm from L.A. But my mistress ran into trouble there, so we had to leave. We've been nomads ever since, never spending too much time in any one place. 
How did you end up here? I found myself alone for the first time in a long time. With nowhere to go, no reason to live. Then I met a man who spoke like a priest who said he could help me. So I followed him. What exactly is this floor? A safe haven where we care for tormented souls. It's where they brought me after my mistress left. I really lucked out. Helena abandoned me in a city I'd never been to, with no warning. Helena? Helena Vidic. That's my mistress. Does the name ring a bell? I've never heard that name before. She talked about leaving. She'd get these strange urges. Yeah, I know all about that. She said I was brilliant, that I deserved my place with her. She promised to embrace me. So why did she leave? Who was she for you? Are you kidding? She was everything. I lived for her. You can't understand what it's like to place your fate in someone else's hands. I... I was so dependent on her. Monsignor Stanford taught me to fight that. Stanford? What does he get out of it? Nothing. He has nothing to gain from it. From me and everyone else here. He's helping us. Really. Helping you to do what? To make up for the pain we've caused. It sounds like you have a new master. It's not like that. What he's doing is important, and not just for me. I know where to find him. And what are you going to do? I don't need to explain myself. You're going to kill him. Why do you always ruin everything? You'll never stop until there's nothing left but corruption. We are simply defending ourselves. Who do you think struck the first blow? You're all the same. Just because you're powerful doesn't mean you have the right to do anything you want. We're not your slaves! I have a brilliant young woman who serves me. She is not mistreated. Where have I heard that before? It's true. Maybe, but Helena was the same way. I won't leave until she is ready. Are you sure? I'll do whatever it takes. Then she's a lucky one. So, what are you going to do with me now? You will forget all about this conversation and stay here. I don't feel very well. I'm going to stay here. Now, how to find Stanford. I was expecting more resistance. Either they're overconfident, or their attention is focused elsewhere. All right. Stanford is in the hospital chapel.
Halsey's on level L4. I need to go that way. It's stuck. I need to cut the power to open it. Access the circuit breaker now.
be able to leave. Miss me a second time.
close. I'm coming, pumpkin. It's nothing personal. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes! At last. Never be too careful. This is their server room? I don't see them. Two person activation required? No way. I've got to find a way to do it alone. They use the water from the bay to cool the servers. That's clever. These things give off a ton of heat. I understand the cooling system better now. These things give off a ton of heat. I understand the cooling system better now. Two person activation. Time before the second button is activated. Five seconds. That's not much time. They use the water from the bay to cool the servers. That's clever.
Call torches in the warehouse. Go get them. Quick. Right away, Sergeant. Please. Let it work this time. Oh, of course. Do you have, I have to find the right here, sir. Good. Come through this door now. Bail now. It's time. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay. Uh, come on. Oh, oh. Yes, it's working. Okay. Gotta get the hell out of here now.
Going to get you out of there, honey. <sighs> Must not be the right card. What? You can't do a thing to me. You're terrorized by fear. You don't trust anyone or anything around you. People, objects, everything seems dangerous. You can't tell what's real, and what's just in your head. It's... it's a nightmare. Yes, yes. but a waking nightmare. Or not, you won't be able to tell the difference. This machine supplies the gas and water to the containers. No use to me right now. But how? Is it really you? No way! You can't be Mom! Richard said you had been destroyed! It can't be you! It's really me, Sugar Fangs. I promise. Listen, I'll show you. Listen, listen to my voice. Focus on what you feel when you hear me. See? You feel it too. You know it's me. You came back. You're here. Mom? I need to focus. Come on. I need a code. There's gotta be a way to find it somewhere. A dual feed system. Quick, which of these pipes is the gas intake?
Mom? I'm here, Pumpkin. I sense fear here. Where are we? What's going on? It's not far from home. An island just off the coast of Boston. How... how did I get here? You took a boat. And so did I. A boat? Like when we came over from France? <laughs> yes, that's right. Do you remember sailing to Boston? You were very good. Yes, I remember. It was fun. But... hurry! I'm so scared! I can do this. Mom? I was so sad before. And then I started to get used to you not being there. And now you're back and it's all getting mixed up. Why? Why did you come? For you, of course. To find you. I'd do anything for you. Because I'm still your pumpkin? Yes. You'll always be my pumpkin. Forever. I don't want to go back to the prince because they'll be mean to us! And it'll start all over again! No! I won't let them! You... you already left me once! Halsey... I know it must have been hard. I'm really... I don't want to hear your sorry! It hurt too much! Never again, because I won't make the same mistakes. Nothing can ever keep us apart now. Remember, like... Two peas in a pod. What happened, what they did to us, it will never happen again. Mom! We're not crazy, sweetie. It's the world around us that's crazy. I want to go far away from here, Mom. Yes, yes, we'll go far, far away. Together. Let's get some things from the Institute and we'll leave. Okay, Mom. That's, That's what, what I want to do. With you, Mom. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh it's open. Oh, Halsey, Halsey. Oh, oh. Mom. Oh, sweetie. Oh, sugar fangs. Come here. Oh, sweet pea, come here. Come here. Oh, 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 I'll never leave you again, sweet pea. Promise me. I promise, I promise, I swear. Come here. Oh, let's go, come on.
He won't see me coming this time. They've gathered his things to send to his family. Will they also get a medal and a pat on the back? shape than the morgue. They didn't expect to have so many casualties. They've already lost many men. He's done his own translations of whole passages that deal with the power of faith. Sounds like someone's trying to understand his own abilities. I can almost smell his presence. Chris! Can you hear me? Oh, shit! He was answering a few minutes ago. <coughs> can you call for someone? Chris! Psychos, they attacked us. I would have liked to have seen them again. How many innocent lives did you take to get here? It's time to put an end to this. I would be impressed if I wasn't so tired of all this. This time, you're alone. You can't harm me. None of your kind can. I forbid you to come any closer. My faith is my shield. I've heard of mortals able to turn us away through the strength of their convictions. I'd never have believed it was anything more than legend. You have failed. Not yet. You're not infallible. As long as I have God on my side, I will be. I'll break you. You and your faith. A touch of bravado. Now that you're cornered, nothing can stop us. You're done for.
That's enough. Get down on your knees. Please, Caleb. Not with me. Your pitiful efforts to reach me won't change a thing. What's your plan here? To put a stop to you. By killing me. We are Legion. Killing one of us won't make the rest of us vanish into thin air. You have made this battle a personal matter. Do you mean our little interview? My face speaks volumes. It brought me no satisfaction. It was necessary. I, however, will derive great satisfaction from sinking my fangs into your flesh. Demon. For you, it will feel like a kiss coming from within you. Enough. Then you'll feel nothing else but the chill of death. I have seen the consequences of your crimes. I have dried orphans' tears, tended to gaping wounds, calmed tormented minds. You spread your plague like rats. You feed off the human race. You're nothing but parasites. At least I don't deny my true nature. I know what I am. A creature superior to you mortals. But we're not just talking about humans here. You profane the very Earth with your presence. From the shadows, you manipulate the fates of civilizations. You bring famines. You stoke wars. You seek to take control of the entire world. And you'll be the cause of its ruin. And what about you? You live in secrecy. You lie to those you feign to protect. No government dares stand up to you. But we're doing nothing more than defending them. For now. But that's how tyrants are born. You're no better than us. I smell nothing but destruction in your wake. What would you have me do? Faced with a creature stripped of all emotion who sees you as nothing more than cattle. I've lost count of the number of dead bodies and broken lives. Fire is the only path to redemption. Down to the very last. You're not afraid of contradictions. All that hate. I harbor no hatred toward you. No more than I hate cholera, leprosy, or the plague. I'm committed to wiping this scourge from the face of the Earth. In the end, only one question remains. Why do you continue to fight when the outcome is already decided? You gave me the location of your hideout. It will soon be purified. Your demise is inevitable. Why do you refuse to accept it? You can struggle. It's the natural order of things. The fight will only heighten my primal instincts. No creature can resist the Almighty. 
I am here for only one thing. I am a monster. Your predator. That's impossible. You're my prey. A sheep that has become separated from his flock. I'm hunting you. I'm going to show you the price you must pay if you come after me. This is impossible. Now, you will die. Stay back! Deus meus. What's taking me? Father. Why did you abandon me? I heard you were back. It's over now. Not yet. At best, we've won ourselves more time. Your wounds. What did they do to you? They caught me and tortured me. It was a close call. How did you manage to escape? There are nights when things go surprisingly well. You make it sound like you had nothing to do with it. Stanford is dead. Do you think that will be enough? Others will come to hunt us. We must be ready. Like prey who have discovered their power. They know they'll be devoured if they lay down their weapons. The next time, we'll be prepared. Things will never go back to the way they used to be. At least now, we'll have a chance to defeat them. We're stronger, and more experienced, but there are more of them. So it'll take more than just brute force. As usual, we reign from the shadows through manipulation. Do you think this is the end of Boston? Like I said, we've won a reprieve. We must use this time to adapt. Disappear. That's up to the prince to decide, not me. That's not what I was talking about. I meant that feeling you get. Your urge to leave. I don't think it will ever go away now. But can the court still count on you? Boston needs you, now more than ever before. What are you going to do? I can't leave the court. There are still many matters that must be attended to. It is my duty to stay and help the Prince. I'm happy to hear that. While you were gone, I saw just how much everyone here needs you. I'm not staying for them. The reason doesn't matter. It's the right choice. 
What's going to happen now? There are some who decided to play against the others. This must end. There's no way we can win the war if we don't put a stop to the infighting. Those words could be used to justify a civil war. More like a realignment. Call it what you will. It won't change a thing. What about me? What part will I have in all of it? What do you think? There's something I have to tell you. Beryl came to see me while you were gone. I thought I had made myself clear about him. I wasn't myself. He... Speak! I followed him. He embraced me. Beryl? He's... your sire? He drained me of my blood. I felt a deathly chill wash over me. A biting, bitter cold that came from inside. After that, I remember feeling only hunger. A hunger so powerful. That hunger is our only company. Like us, it is eternal. Beryl fed me. But I still feel a dull pain throughout my being. I get the feeling that the worst is yet to come, now that I've made it to the other side. And there's this presence lurking in the shadows of my mind, ready to come out and take control. I warned you about it. It's our curse. All we can do is try to resist. There is no cure. I had no choice. He deserves to be destroyed. I'm not sure. He's more complicated than you're willing to admit. <laughs> complicated. He's always been a problem. And I've put up with him for far too long. Now that my sire is gone, I don't know if the prince will allow me to stay. What's going to happen to me? It's... Not my problem anymore. You can't really believe that. I'm sorry, Fang. Sorry about what? Ma'am. Thank God you're here. When I found out that Hazel had sent you out there, I really thought that... Ugh. Are you alright? You're not hurt? I'm a little shaken up. That's all. I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around what I just did. You survived a suicide mission. That's what you just did. It's a miracle you made it out without a scratch. Listen, I know it's not a good time, but we need to talk. Come back to my rooms with me. What for? Not here, ma'am. I'll tell you more once we're there. It's... important. And personal. Are you coming? All right, but it has to be quick. Hazel's expecting me. It won't take long. Come with me. Do you want me to ask Sylvia to send up a vessel? You must be starving. It's fine. I don't have a lot of time. What did you want to talk about? I know that Hazel offered you a seat on the council. I was sure you'd disapprove of it. Ma'am, she's offered you my seat. She never said anything about replacing you. She's not blind. She's seen you growing more influential. Not as much as me, but nearly. By bringing you into the Primogen, she hopes that the student will surpass the Master, and that I'll end up losing all credibility. Then, why does Hazel want to get rid of you? Who knows? The powers made her paranoid. She's afraid of her own shadow. She must think I'm a threat. It'll happen to you, too, if you accept the seat. 
Are you going to accept? I don't know. It's a flying leap into the unknown. I know what I'm losing, but I don't know what I'm gaining in return. You're right, but maybe I can help. I have a say in this. <sighs> Listen, I know we don't see eye to eye on everything, but I'm trying to help you. You lose everything if you accept her offer. Your freedom, your music, everything. You've seen the sacrifices that Hazel will ask you to make. The Anarchs. Yes. It's a heavy burden to bear. Leave it to me. I'm tired, Hilda. I thought it was what I wanted. But I don't want to end up like you. You can keep your seat. You can keep everything. I'm leaving. You can't just quit the Camarilla. They'll hunt you down. I'll be ready for them. Disasters bring out the best and the worst in us. They can plunge us into oblivion or signal the start of a golden age. Tonight will go down in history as the night we were able to prove we're not done yet. We showed that if we stand by our beliefs, if we fight to protect the masquerade from the shadows, nothing is impossible. The mortals were unable to break us, thanks to our resilience. We never doubted our superiority over those weak creatures for a moment. Many sacrifices were necessary. Our domain was violated and our existence threatened. But this is nothing compared to everything we have lost. Our family has been battered. The blood of our servants flowed like water. Our own kind were decimated in the flames. We will never forget them. Now that our reunification has been confirmed, we can count on strong allies who will help us secure our blood supply. Our old quarrels belong to the past. The trifles that separated us have been forgotten. Only one truth remains. Our supremacy. Never again shall we be weak or disunited. That's what the mortals expect from us. Let us show them why we are the predators and they are the prey. Let us show them who their blood belongs to. Let us show them the power of immortality. The sacrifices are not over yet. Some will be lost. Others will lose what they have. But it will not be in vain. We are hunters, and what is taken from a hunter must be repaid a hundredfold. We must be able to count on each and every one of our kind. There is no room for bargaining in this war. Our eternal nature is our greatest strength. Boston has shown that it is stronger than old London and venerable Vienna. Tonight, we have tasted vengeance. Tonight, a sea of blood will flow.